Chapter 1121 Seven stars reflect on the runic seed translator. Born to be whether it was the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples or the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples, whether it was Gao Zianiang, Sumo, Mu Kingsuan, or the other senior disciples, they were all shocked. That incredibly fierce battle just now had been completely shocking for them. Even the senior disciples who had joined the sect ten years before had to admit that the two of them had far surpassed them. Although they were a bit unwilling to accept this, Long Chen and Hans Henaya were just too monstrous. And now, Long Chen's words opened their eyes to the truly monstrous point, that the two of them had yet to bring out their real power. Ha 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 ha. Hans Henaya raised his head and laughed. He patted off some dust, the runes in his eyes glowing. Good. Now it's interesting. It's already been 10 years since I used my full strength. But since you want to see it, I'll show you what true power is. Power that you couldn't possibly achieve even if you cultivated for a hundred or even a thousand years. Hans Henayu's third eye suddenly opened. Space became still, and it was like all sound had disappeared. People were horrified to find that this eye had no pupil. It was pitch black, like a bottomless black hole. I naturally possess metal and earth energy, and normally I can eradicate my opponents easily with just one type. You're the first one to force me to use both elements in the past few years. However, I don't mind telling you that even so, I've only taken out less than half my power. This is the power of having metal energy merged with earth energy. Boom. The two runes in Hans Henayu's eyes merged in his third eye. The ground began to explode as the martial stage was blown apart by his power. Have a taste of the weight of earth energy and the sharpness of metal energy combined. Hans Henaya waved his hand, and the ground split apart. Golden pointed stakes shot out at Long Chen like strange tentacles. Long Chen dodged one and then smashed his fist into its sharp point. The sharp point split open, but it didn't shatter. The damage quickly healed. More and more of them came at Long Chen, and each one of them was as thick as a person's waist. They came in an endless tide, forcing Long Chen to retreat. Metal energy is sharp but lacking toughness, which makes it easy to break. Earth energy is boundless, but its killing power is limited. When the two are merged, they make up for each other's weaknesses. Now their power and toughness is ten times greater than before. Long Chen, how is the taste of despair? Laughed Hans Henayu as he waved his staff. Long Chen once more punched one of them, but he was unable to completely break it. However, his expression was still calm. If you don't keep bragging, will you end up dying? All I've heard during this battle is your crap, sneered Long Chen. I'm kindly letting you understand your death, but since you don't care, you can just die. Swallow of the Earth Dragon. Light radiated from Hans Henayu's third eye. The ground split open, and a huge mouth devoured Long Chen. This attack came so suddenly, that no one was able to react. The Earth Dragon swallowed Long Chen and then began to fall back into the ground. Raging flames devour the heavens. A muffled bang rang out from the ground and the earth dragon exploded. At the same spot, blazing flames soared into the sky, and Long Chen emerged from within, a pair of flame wings on his back. It's not my style to not reciprocate. You can taste one of my moves as well. Long Chen formed hand seals, and his arms began to glow. A terrifying pressure descended. Double dragon destruction. A lightning and a flame dragon formed a huge twister that shot toward Hans Henayu. Flames and lightning caused space to twist. Hans Henayu's expression changed. He instantly saw through how terrifying this move was. Close the earth. Seal the heavens. Hans Henayu waved his staff. The light coming from his eyes grew even more intense. At the same time, a certain crystal in his staff lit up, and a rune fell to the ground. The ground rumbled, and a huge gate rose out of it. It was tightly shot, with an image of a huge dragon on it. The image of the dragon moved about as if it was alive. Boom. Lai Long and Huo Long crashed against the gate and the explosion blasted them all apart, unleashing berserk power. The barrier's runes blazed with light to keep the energy contained, but some of the runes were already cracking. The Elder Hall Master's expression changed, and he extended his hand. Energy flowed out, fixing the damaged runes. Cough. Hans Henayu flew out of the mess, coughing up blood. That attack had been too vicious. If he didn't have his metal body to protect himself, he'd have been killed. But his expression quickly changed. The flames in the air hadn't faded yet, and they condensed into flame chains that sealed the space around him. He had unwittingly retreated into a flame prison. Flame prison death blow. The huge flame prison rapidly shrank down. Hans Henayu's expression once more changed. He hastily shanté Dia Mnemonic, and metal energy condensed in the air, forming a circular saw that shot out. 
It slashed into a flame chain, and a cut appeared in the chain, but it didn't break. However, when the saw then self-detonated, the flame chain was no longer able to endure, and it crumbled. Hans Henayu shot out of that opening, but just at that moment, he saw Long Chen holding his right elbow with his left hand. A head-sized sphere was condensing in his right palm. That sphere possessed an apocalyptic power. When he saw it, all of Hans Henayu's hair stood on end. Starfall. Long Chen couldn't help but feel a bit helpless when he saw Hans Henayu fly out so quickly. Starfall still hadn't reached its peak stage yet. However, now that Hans Henayu had escaped the flame prison, he had no choice but to unleash it prematurely. The flame sphere fell to the ground, and Hans Henayu was tightly locked down by its power. As it was falling, an ear-piercing sound rang out. Boom. The flame sphere exploded. It was like a star had exploded, and the martial stage's barrier was instantly blasted apart. Everyone's expression instantly turned pale. If this key wave struck them, they wouldn't even have a corpse left. But fortunately, after the martial stage's barrier exploded, another larger barrier appeared, blocking the key wave. The Elder Hall Master had summoned this barrier. The original barrier was matched with the martial stage, and as the martial stage was damaged, the barrier's power had also dropped. Rather than continuing to support it, condensing a new barrier was easier. Hans Henai was dead. Right. Everyone looked in shock at the stage. It was a complete mess. The dazzling stage was completely destroyed, replaced with a huge hole. Long Chen floated in the air, icily looking at the ground. Hans Henayu had disappeared. Was he blown apart? Bang. Just at this moment, a huge figure tore out of the ground. It was a 300-meter golden giant. The golden giant was covered in large cracks, and the runes revolving around it were faint. After coming out of the ground, it immediately shattered and fell apart, revealing Hans Henayu. Hans Henayu jumped out of its stomach. It was clear he had used this move to save his life. Is there any need to continue being a poser? Asked Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen was shocked inside. Hans Henayu was truly powerful to be able to endure a direct blow from Starfall. He almost wasn't able to believe it. Hans Henayu's eyes were icy. The magical staff in his hand suddenly disappeared, and an image of it appeared in his third eye. A merging ability. Long Chen was surprised. This kind of magical art was extremely ancient. Although he had heard of such techniques, he didn't understand its true usage. Looks like you know a bit about it. Then I'll tell you. This allows me to escape the restrictions of chanting or forming seals. I can unleash magical arts more freely. Do you feel pleased right now? That just means you're stupid. No matter how strong you are, you aren't my match, said Hans Henayu. Just keep on bragging, fool. Do you think I'm trying to scare you? You'll never be able to understand what being a rank 7 celestial signifies. Today, I'll let all you ants how great the difference between us is. Seven balls of light appeared out of Hans Henayu's body. They blossomed with dazzling light behind his back, looking like seven suns. Within the seven balls of light were seven different runes. The seven runes suddenly formed a resonance with heaven and earth. Buzz. The seven runes exploded, and boundless natural energy condensed into a sea of runes around Hans Henayu. These were all heavenly Dao runes. Once the sea of runes was formed, seven larger runes lit up, looking like seven stars shining in the night sky. This is the legendary manifestation of a rank 7 celestial. Seven stars reflect on the runic sea, cried a disciple, trembling with fear. That was because when Hans Henayu summoned this manifestation, all the celestials felt a terrifying pressure crash down on them. Even their connection to the surrounding heavenly Dao energy became faint. Chapter 1122 Full Strength Attack Translator Born to be Hans Henayu had summoned the seven stars reflect on the runic sea manifestation that only rank seven celestials possessed. The sea of runes behind him sucked away all the surrounding heavenly Dao energy. Not only that, but even the disciples outside the barrier sensed the majority of the heavenly Dao energy around them being stripped away. It was like Hans Henayu was the ruler of this space, with all the heavenly Dao energy submitting to him. In front of him, it would be difficult to draw out any heavenly Dao energy. To celestials, not being supported by heavenly Dao energy was like clipping away the wings of an eagle or extracting the teeth of a tiger. All the disciples' expressions changed. This was the absolute power that Hans Henayu was talking about. In front of this power, any celestial would have to submit. But Long Chen didn't feel it, because he wasn't a celestial. He didn't have the slightest connection to heavenly Dao energy. Whether it was there or not didn't make a difference to him. Although you aren't a celestial, in front of the might of the heavenly Deos, 
you'll still have to submit. Han Zhenayu's runic sea began to boil, and its pressure crashed down on Long Chen. The original dusty air within the barrier instantly became clear. It was like the air had been purified, and there was no longer the slightest bit of dust. In front of the heavenly Dao energy, the dust in the air was under pressure, and even the ground began to tremble and sink. It was like a hammer was smashing down mercilessly. The uneven ground instantly became flat. Everyone was horrified, as they could also sense immense pressure from outside the barrier. They couldn't imagine how much pressure Long Chen was under within the barrier. Neil, cried Hans Henayu. The pressure became even fiercer, with space twisting furiously as if the world couldn't bear this power. The pressure of the heavenly Dao energy made Long Chen feel like hundreds of thousands of mountains were crushing him. Even his bones were shaking. Long Chen hadn't expected the difference between rank 6 and rank 7 celestials to be so immense. There was a qualitative difference in their heavenly Dao energy. This pressure truly was something that could kill any rank 6 celestial. But trying to use this pressure to make Long Chen kneel was an immense joke. Green Dragon Battle Armor. Boom. The pressure crashing down on Long Chen was blown away. Long Chen was covered in green scales, and the power of his dragon blood roared through his veins. His 108,000 runes reflected upon his scales. Long Chen was unaware, but he had 108,000 original runes, and he also had 108,000 scales on his body. The ground beneath Long Chen's feet exploded. A grand and sacred aura rose, one that looked down on the very heavens. A green pillar of light soared into the air. It went directly through the Elder Hall Master's barrier, tearing through the clouds. The Elder Hall Master's expression changed. The power these two had revealed had reached his limit. He couldn't continue allowing them to fight like this. The safety of the surrounding disciples took priority. He had to increase his own power to keep their power contained. But if he did, then it would grow out of his control, and the two of them would also be suppressed, making it so they couldn't battle. Widen the field. The Zuan Master's voice rang out, and everyone suddenly felt the world change. They didn't know how, but they somehow appeared in the air. They also realized that the martial stage was far away. It was located in a canyon thousands of miles away. Within the valley, Long Chen and Hans Henai were free of the barrier. Both of them roared furiously, no longer holding back their auras at all. A huge twister soared into the air, one filled with green light and heavenly Dao runes. It raged furiously through the air. The original martial arena was completely blown apart by the clash of their auras. A huge hole appeared and surging key waves spread, filled with destructive power. Are they really human? The speaker was a rank 6 celestial from the Zhuanchen Dao sect. He was one of the previous generation's disciples, and he was looking in horror at the battlefield. He was appalled to find that let alone fighting against the two of them, he wouldn't even have a chance to get close under the torrent of their auras. The Zuan master nodded inside as he looked at Long Chen, a faint smile appearing on his face. Long Chen was unreliable most of the time, but when it came to big things like this, he was definitely worth trusting. Ma Zingkong was completely shocked and filled with unease. He finally realized he had fallen for the Zuan Master's trap. All of this had been a trap prepared for him. Neither Long Chen's green dragon battle armor nor Han's Henayu's seven stars reflect on the runic sea were able to suppress the other in terms of aura. In the end, the two of them roared at the same time and shot at each other. Han's Henayu's hand slammed on the ground. The ground broke open, and countless golden blades flew out at Long Chen. Each blade was 300 meters long and whistled through the air with an ear-piercing sound. Long Chen's fists danced as he broke them apart. He forced his way through those golden blades to send a vicious punch at Hans Henayu. Hans Henayu clasped both his hands in front of himself, and a huge shield appeared. Bang! The shield exploded, but Hans Henayu used that delay to retreat and form a strange seal with his hands. The ground exploded, and a huge golden hand reached out for Long Chen. Long Chen had only just destroyed the shield when this golden hand appeared. Therefore, he didn't even have a chance to dodge before he was caught. The ground continued to break open, revealing a 300-meter golden giant. It continued to clench its fist as it broke out of the ground. Once it was out of the ground, it began spinning, and it suddenly flung out a black figure with all its power. A long gorge appeared as that figure blew through the ground. That figure ended up so far that they could barely see him. What human body could possibly endure such a thing? Heavens, he's still all right. Suddenly, a startled cry rang out as a person soared out of the end of the gorge. Long Chen's aura hadn't changed at all. He didn't even look the slightest bit injured. Starfall, halfway back to Hans Henayu, Long Chen suddenly shot out a sphere of flames. It was incredibly fast, reaching him in an instant. 
boom. That golden giant charged in front of it. This golden giant had once saved Han Sen Ayu's life by blocking Long Chen's starfall. But this time, it instantly blew apart upon contact, and the sphere of flames didn't pause or weaken. It continued onward to the distant Han Sen Ayu. Rashomon Gate. Han Sen Ayu slammed his hands onto the ground, in front of everyone's shocked gazes. 300 meter thick golden gate soared out of the ground, layering themselves in front of him. There were a total of nine gates, each one of them covered with heavenly Dao runes. They were created from his heavenly Dao energy, metal energy, and earth energy. Just a single one of them would be difficult for a king to break. For Hans Henayu to summon nine at once, it was clear how highly Hans Henayu viewed this attack to summon nine at once. But shockingly, these golden gates were like wooden planks in front of Long Chen's starfall. They exploded one by one. After going through the nine gates, its power had been greatly reduced. It exploded as it blew through the last one. But by then, it was right in front of Hans Henayu. Boom. A golden figure shot back, also tearing a long gorge in the ground identical to Long Chen's. Where the two gorges intersected was where the martial stage had once been. The terrain had already completely changed, and it was no longer possible to tell that there had ever been a martial arena here. The disciples and even the elders were no longer able to keep their composure. This battle was absolutely horrifying. It had to be known that these two were still merely at the early foundation forging realm. Heavenly encompassing killing formation. Despite receiving such a heavy blow, Hans Henai wasn't injured at all. Suddenly, the ground beneath him became covered with golden runes. The entire battlefield quickly changed to become golden. Millions of golden all shot at Long Chen, and each one of them had a heavenly Dao rune powering it. Each one of these alls possessed unprecedented power, but people also clearly saw that after using it, Hans Henai's sea of runes shrank by quite a bit. This move's power was great, but it was also exhausting. Double Dragon Twister. Long Chen extended his arms, no longer daring to hold back. He directly summoned Huo Long and Lai Long's true bodies. Chapter 1123 Blood Drinker Advances Translator. Born to be Lai Long and Huo Long's 30,000 meter bodies charged out. Lightning and flame runes exploded, forming a berserk hurricane. The countless golden alls were blown apart by Lai Long and Huo Long. The alls were unable to damage their defenses. As for Long Chen, he was standing in the center of the hurricane, looking coldly at Hans Henayu. This is your absolute power? Then sorry, I'll have to give you a slap in the face again. If you think this is enough to take my life, I'm sorry to tell you that your wish will never be realized. Bastard. Fuck off. Hans Henayu roared. He hadn't expected Long Chen to once more cause him to lose face. Thinking of his previous big words, if he couldn't kill Long Chen, he would become the heaven-suppressing magic sect's laughingstock. Compared to the physical slap in the face, this silent one was even more unbearable. Golden chains suddenly emerged from the golden ground, and they sealed off a huge space of 3,000 miles. That made everyone jump in shock. Just how much spiritual Yuan and heavenly Dao energy did sealing such a huge space take? Furthermore, they saw that these chains contained a faint blood color. He also activated his spirit blood? Is he planning on ending things with this? Everyone was shocked. For such a large-scale attack, supporting it with spirit blood would come at a huge price. As expected, when they looked at Hans Henayu, he was completely pale. The sea of runes around him had dimmed and shrunk. It wasn't even half its previous size. Heaven and Earth Cage. Extinguish Yin and Yang. The huge cage rapidly shrank. As it did, the ground also compressed with it. In the air, there were golden chains. Down below, there was a golden platform. It formed a perfect sphere that wrapped around Long Chen. Now, it might be troublesome. Guo Ran's expression changed. Although he considered Long Chen to be undefeatable, he couldn't imagine how Long Chen could escape from such a terrifying move. According to what he knew, Long Chen had already used up all his trump cards. Furthermore, it was clear that this was Hans Henayu's strongest killing move. He was confident in killing Long Chen with it, or he wouldn't have exhausted so much spiritual yuan, heavenly Dao energy, and spirit blood energy to use it. Being encased, there was no chance for Long Chen to get out. As the cage shrank, its power grew greater. It was essentially the same principle as Long Chen's raging flame prison. When the cage was a few thousand meters wide, Lai Long and Huo Long's bodies spread out to fight against it, and its shrinking came to a halt. Haha, <laughs> boss really is boss. Guo Ran was delighted to see that Long Chen could endure. This would become a battle of endurance, and he would still be able to win. Idiot. 
Do you think my heaven and earth cage is so easy to endure? Let alone you. Even a king would definitely die. Hans Henayu sneered, and runes began to slowly revolve in his third eye. At the same time, his blood key erupted. The cage shook slightly, and with countless new runes added to it, it once more began to shrink. That made the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples' expressions change. They all saw that Long Chen was at an absolute disadvantage. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er clenched their fists, their palms covered in sweat. They stared closely at the trapped Long Chen. The only thing that comforted them was that Long Chen's expression was still calm. But that was just Long Chen's character. Even if he really was about to die, he would still be that calm. No one could see through what he was thinking. At this time, they were all silent. Everyone's heart clenched. Magic Master, your spiritual yuan fluctuations are so strong. Are you trying to stop me from saving him? The Zuan Master indifferently looked at Ma Zing Kong. What? No. I just haven't seen such an intense battle in a long time. I couldn't control myself. Ma Zing Kong randomly replied. But he was still intent on stopping the Zuan Master. The Zuan Master sighed and sighed. When did my Zuanshan Dao sect decline to this point? Master, this was your mistake. As the Zuan Master was sighing emotionally, the cage was still shrinking. It was now 1500 meters wide, and it looked like a sphere floating in the air above a huge pit. It was a bizarre sight. When the sphere had shrunk to 1500 meters, Lai Long and Huo Long started to break down. This was Hans Henayu's strongest move, and it was incredibly powerful. However, Long Chen didn't even twitch. He allowed it to continue shrinking, simply having Huo Long and Lai Long do their best. When the sphere reached 300 meters, Lai Long and Huo Long roared and once more fought against it causing it to once more stop shrinking. Hans Henayu's expression changed. He continued to feed it energy, but he was shocked to find that a portion of his energy and spiritual strength had mysteriously vanished. It was like he was doing his best to blow up a balloon, but there was a hole in it. No matter how much he breathed into it, he was unable to make it bigger. After several tries, instead of continuing to shrink, the runes on the cage began to dim. Hans Henai was appalled to find that the cage's energy was rapidly disappearing as if it was being devoured. Bastard, what did you do? Hans Henai poured in more energy, but he found that it would simply vanish without a sound. Now the heaven and earth cage had become a bottomless pit that wouldn't fill up no matter what he did. He was simply exhausting himself. Me? I'm not doing anything. Truly, I've just been politely watching you pose. Long Chen innocently shrugged. The disciples were unable to understand what they were seeing, and even the elders were lost. Only those on the level of Hall Masters were able to see through some clues, but even they didn't quite understand it. Suddenly, a light cracking sound rang out. Everyone hastily followed the sound to see that one of the millions of chains that was part of the cage was covered in cracks. All the runes on it had disappeared. Following one chain, a second and third chain also became covered in cracks. In just a breath, Cracks had appeared on all the chains. Boom. Finally, like rotting wood, the chains all shattered, and this time, they didn't transform into runes like Hans Henayu's previous attacks. They simply turned to dust that blew away with the wind. What is going on? roared Hans Henayu. He simply couldn't comprehend it. This was his supreme killing move, but it had been broken by his opponent, and he didn't even know how. With the chains in the air gone, the foundation at the bottom also cracked and began to fall piece by piece. Heavens, what is that? As the golden fragments fell, a blood-colored saber appeared in front of everyone. That saber was right at the core of the heaven and earth cage. Hans Henayu icily swept his gaze over, and he could see that blood-colored runes began to fly toward the saber. They merged with it, causing its aura to soar. Hans Henayu seemed to realize something, and he let out a heart-rending cry. Long Chen, you bastard. I'll tear you apart piece by piece. How dare you use me like this? Everyone looked at Hans Henayu blankly. What was that supposed to mean? Long Chen grabbed Bloodrinker and rested it on his shoulder. He sensed Bloodrinker's messages to him and was full of gratitude. First of all, he had to thank the Eastern Wasteland Bell. It was the one who had taught him a spirit upgrading technique, which had allowed Long Chen to nourish Bloodrinker, giving it the chance to advance to the king item level. But he also had to thank this fellow who wished to tear him apart piece by piece. Without his endless metal energy, earth energy, spiritual strength, heavenly deo energy, and spirit blood energy, it would have required quite a while for blood drinker to advance. Not only would it take time to advance to the king item level, but it would also take resources and opportunity. But all this had been selflessly offered up by his opponent. 
Don't be so petty. Didn't I just borrow some of your energy to temper my weapon? Is there a need to fly into such a rage? Said Long Chen disdainfully. You. PFFT. Hans Henayu coughed up a mouthful of blood. This incredibly powerful killing move of his that had taken so much of his energy had actually benefited his opponent. He almost fainted from fury. When did he do this? Ah, it was at that time. The Zuan master muttered to himself. He suddenly recalled a certain scene. Long Chen had just destroyed Hans Henayu's defenses when the ground had split open and an earth dragon had devoured him. It had then returned to the ground. It was clear that Long Chen had only had this one chance to send Bloodrinker into the ground. He had tricked everyone. The Zuan master's guess was correct. After confirming that Hans Henayu possessed metal and earth energies, Long Chen had begun laying out this trap. He had placed Bloodrinker underground without anyone noticing. Each time Hans Henayu had used the ground's energy, each time he had gathered endless energy throughout the ground, Bloodrinker would stealthily absorb some of his energy. Bloodrinker had been forged with Phoenix Blood Black Gold, so it needed to absorb a huge amount of metal energy to advance. Hans Henayu's energy was perfect for that. Hans Henayu was truly nice. He had poured metal energy into the ground repeatedly to unleash powerful moves. This had all benefited Bloodrinker. The nicest thing about Hans Henayu was that he had even used his heaven and earth cage, giving his metal energy, earth energy, spiritual strength, spirit blood energy, and heavenly deo energy to Bloodrinker, allowing it to finally break through the barrier. Chapter 1124 Defeated Translator Born to be this was Long Chen's first time feeling that Hans Henayu wasn't bad. Bloodrinker had absorbed so much energy that its power had leaped to a terrifying level. He felt that it wasn't any weaker than Wild's Club now. Furthermore, absorbing Hans Henayu's spiritual strength, heavenly Deo energy, and spirit blood energy had greatly increased Bloodrinker's spirituality and intelligence. Now, it could freely communicate with Long Chen, and that was what delighted Long Chen the most. Furthermore, not only did he sense Bloodrinker's immense power surging from within, but he also sensed another kind of energy from it. This energy was still in a state of slumber. That made him think of his own original runes. Right now, Bloodrinker was still unable to use that energy, but just its newfound power was amazing. Long Chen felt battle intent overflowing from it. This was a weapon given to him by the barbarian race's expert within the Jiuli secret realm, and its spirit longed for a battle. The barbarian expert had also been filled with battle intent. Despite being reduced to just a skeleton, he had still fought against the winged devils. Bloodrinker was the weapon that had fought alongside him during his life. As for Long Chen, he also had the same kind of hot blood flowing through him. Resting Bloodrinker on his shoulder, he felt a close connection to it. Both the man and the saber were overflowing with battle intent. At this time, Long Chen stood with the blood red saber on his shoulder, appearing like a god of war that looked down on all. Bastard, I will definitely kill you. Hans Henai roared, looking like he had gone insane. He suddenly took out a golden sword. A sharp aura immediately erupted from it. Startled cries rang out, as this was something only a king item could possess. That was something normally only those possessing a jade core could use. And yet, Hans Henayu had taken one out. He spat a mouthful of blood on it, and his already pale face became as white as paper. The runes in his third eye, as well as the tiny runic sea behind him, flowed into the sword. Not only that, even the larger, now faint, seven runes merged in as well. Star Extinction Sword. Hans Henayu held the sword with both hands and slashed it at Long Chen. When a huge sword image appeared in the air, all king level experts were shocked. Hans Henayu was actually capable of activating a king item's power. Long Chen's four key C's and 108,000 original runes poured their energy through 27 divine runes. Split the heavens three. Bloodrinker pointed at the sky. A huge saber image condensing. Boom. Both of them had activated king items. When their two attacks clashed, the world became still for a moment, and then a huge explosion erupted. The original valley was completely blown apart. Two figures shot out, both vomiting blood. At the same time, two king items also flew into the distance, disappearing beneath the ground. Both of their owner's hands couldn't hold them anymore and were covered in blood. Double dragon destruction. Long Chen saw that Hans Henayu hadn't died, and using his last spiritual yuan, he sent Lai Long and Hu along with all their remaining power. All he wanted was for Hans Henayu to die. Long Chen could sense that Hans Henayu's current state was worse than his. Not only had he used up his spiritual Yuan, but his spirit blood was almost dried up and his spiritual strength had been overdrafted. He didn't have the slightest heavenly Deo energy left to him. 
Therefore, Long Chen was 90% sure this move could kill him. Seeing two dragons roaring at him, Hans Henayu suddenly took out a jade talisman. It was violet, looking almost the same as Long Chen's nine vein soul calming jade. However, it only had two veins. He crushed the jade talisman, and a barrier of light enveloped him. Long Chen's double dragon destruction struck the barrier and exploded. The barrier didn't even ripple, but after blocking the attack, it also slowly faded. This violet jade was clearly a one time use item. Long Chen had no time to get Blood Drinker. He stamped on the ground and shot toward Hans Henayu, sending a kick straight for Hans Henayu's head. Hans Henayu was heavily injured. His body had almost collapsed after their previous exchange. Seeing Long Chen's kick coming, he knew he couldn't dodge, and he hastily circulated his last bit of metal energy to protect his head. As a result, he was sent flying, his head caving in, but he still wasn't dead. As for Long Chen, he was unable to use lightning or flame energy to chase him any longer. To give Blood Drinker more time to absorb energy, Huo Long and Lai Long had used up almost all their energy holding back the heaven and earth cage. That previous attack was their final bit of energy. Now they were in a deep slumber. Otherwise, at this time, a single lightning finger would kill Hans Henayu. But Long Chen could only rely on his physical body to chase now. Hans Henayu fell unconscious after Long Chen's kick to his head. Long Chen shot after him, preparing to attack him once more, but a silent hand appeared in front of Long Chen, slamming toward him. In that instant, he felt the world go still, and he couldn't move. He could only watch as that hand descended toward him. If it landed, even 10,000 lives wouldn't be enough. That was because the person who had interfered was the magic master, Ma Zing Kong. But naturally the Zuan master also appeared. He pushed Long Chen away and sent his other palm at Ma Zing Kong. The fact that the Zuan Master and Ma Zing Kong would exchange blows shocked everyone. When their palms collided and everyone thought they might be killed just by the shock waves, a barrier appeared around them. Their two palms only caused a light sound. Then it looked like transparent glass was expanding between their hands. Suddenly, countless cracks spread throughout the space around them and into the sky. Bang! With a muffled sound, Ma Zing Kong was sent flying by the Zuan Master. The cracks in the sky healed. But Ma Zing Kong suddenly extended his hand and clenched it at the distant Long Chen. Long Chen found himself unable to move and involuntarily appeared in front of Ma Zing Kong, with Ma Zing Kong's hand around his throat. Bastard, release Brother Long, release our boss, you shameless ghost. All the Dragon Blood warriors roared and charged forward. Despite knowing they would die, they wouldn't permit anyone to humiliate Long Chen like this. They had only just taken a few steps when they became frozen by some terrifying power. It was the Zuan Master. He first settled them before indifferently turning to Ma Zing Kong. Release Long Chen. Don't do such meaningless things. You don't dare to kill him. No matter what pompous excuse you can come with. Oh, is that so? Are you that confident? Hehe, <laughs> I dare to kill him. But you don't dare to kill Hans Henayu because he's from the Grand Han Ancient Nation's royal family. If you kill him, it'll bring great trouble to your Zuan Chen Deo sect as for Long Chen. He has no such background. So what if I kill him? Long Chen had clearly already won, but he was so vicious as to attempt killing someone without any power to resist. By killing him, I will be eliminating a future disaster for the righteous path. Who would dare to say anything? Sneered Ma Zing Kong. Long Chen's throat was caught in his grasp. Not only was his cultivation base sealed, but he couldn't even move a finger. Long Chen was filled with fury. Ma Zing Kong was absolutely shameless to attack a little disciple. He was clearly envious of Long Chen's talent and wanted him dead before he could grow. And yet, he was still able to come up with such a righteous sounding excuse. Long Chen's killing intent was boiling, but he couldn't move. Just as Long Chen felt a feeling of mortal danger, just as everything within him was suppressed by Ma Zing Kong, the primal chaos bead within him began to slowly circulate. It was circulating faster and faster, but Long Chen's hatred and killing intent made it so he didn't sense this change. First. The current leader of the Zuan Deo sect is me. Don't judge the Zuan Deo sect's daring based on old times. Second, if you kill Long Chen, I will definitely kill that little fellow. You don't need to doubt my determination. Since I dared to bet with you, it means I already knew the results. Third, the reason I said you don't dare to kill Long Chen is because I know you. You have no guts at all, and there's no way you'd exchange your life for Long Chen's. Even if you want to kill my Deo sect's geniuses. You won't do it at the price of your own life. Fourth, it seems you really are an idiot. Look to your right. Yes, 
that's the direction of the Zhuangshan Tower. Do you not sense that you've already been locked onto by the Zhuangshan killing formation? Said the Zhuan Master. Ma Zingkong's expression changed. Through the Zhuan Master's reminder, he suddenly sensed strange fluctuations coming from that direction. He also saw the Zhuangshan Tower tens of thousands of miles away. Light was blazing from its peak. As a leader of the heaven-suppressing magic sect, Ma Zingkong naturally knew that once the Zhuangshan Tower's killing formation was activated, anyone it locked onto would definitely die. The Zhuan Master had long since been prepared. I don't believe you dare to kill me. Ma Zingkong tried to bluff his way out. That's fine. You can try it. I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. The Zuan Master didn't give Ma Zingkong any time to think. He directly shouted two. And in that instant, the Zuan Tower's light grew even brighter. And boundless energy condensed. You win. Ma Zingkong finally released Long Chen. Fuck your mother. The instant Long Chen regained his freedom. He viciously slapped Ma Zingkong's face. Chapter 1125 Once I dominate the land beneath the heavens translator, born to be with an explosive sound, Long Chen slapped across Ma Zingkong's face. Ma Zingkong was fine, but Long Chen was sent flying by a powerful force. Everyone turned to stone. Even the Zuan master was stunned. Long Chen dared to slap Ma Zingkong, and he had succeeded. That was a sect's leader, someone who was far and above him on the martial path. He was practically a godlike existence but a foundation-forging disciple had slapped him in the face, and very resoundingly at that. Furthermore, it was done in front of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples and higher-ups. Long Chen, was heaven-defying. Dai, Ma Zingkong was also stunned. It seemed that ever since he had reached the position of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's vice-sect leader, he had never suffered such humiliation. In fact, he didn't recall such a humiliation ever. His hand slammed down, encompassing all of heaven and earth. At Long Chen, Long Chen suddenly vanished, and when he reappeared, he was by the Zuan Master's side. I won't let you kill my disciple. If you want to force it, don't blame me for using the Zuanchen Tower and killing you, warned the Zuan Master. The Zuanchen Dao sect had two powerful items. One was the reincarnation mirror, and one was the Zuanchen Tower. However, what was different between the two of them was, while the reincarnation mirror's power depended on its user. The Zhuangshan Tower was powered by a formation. Once activated, it would unleash an attack that no one could possibly dodge. Even someone as powerful as Ma Zingkong wouldn't have the slightest chance against the Zhuangshan Tower. Bastard. He humiliated me like this. So he deserves to die. Ma Zingkong was infuriated. But he didn't dare to attack the Zhuan Master. He could sense that the Zhuangshan Tower had finished accumulating energy. It could attack at any moment. Fuck off. I humiliated you. So you want to kill me? You fucker. You had the face to attack me. A foundation forging disciple. Do you even know what it means to feel shame? When you humiliated me. Why didn't you think that you should be killed? Let me tell you. You and I are not done. Once I. Long Chen. Dominate the land beneath the heavens. I will raise your heaven suppressing magic sect to the ground. I never say any empty words. And this is my oath that gods and devils can bear witness to. Long Chen's voice echoed through the air. Suddenly, heaven and earth changed color, with the entire world shuddering for a moment. It was like Long Chen's oath had caused the world to quiver. Long Chen was full of fury. He had had enough of others treating him like an ant that could be randomly crushed whenever they wanted to. He would get stronger and get revenge. This oath was for himself. Without getting his vengeance, he wouldn't have the face to live in this world. When Ma Zingkong had clenched Long Chen's neck, the pill sovereign memories that were concealed in the depths of his soul had erupted. This was an intolerable insult. The sudden change in the world was incomprehensible to anyone except the Zuan Master and Ma Zingkong. They felt like some kind of unknown energy was now present in the world. Ha ha ha. You want to raise my heaven suppressing magic sect? That's the biggest joke I've ever heard. I'll nicely wait for you to grow up. I hope to see the day you can walk up my heaven suppressing magic sect staircase alive. Ma Zingkong laughed furiously. With a wave of his hand. A black bead which seemed to contain a twinkling star within it, flew toward the Zuan Master. The Zuan Master caught it and smiled. As expected, the Magic Master's words can be trusted. Thank you for your generosity. As for the rest, HMPH, do you think my heaven-suppressing magic sect would turn back on its word? Three days from now, you can send people over. However, Li Xiangxuan, you are the current Zuan Master of the Zuanshan Dao sect. Each one of your actions, each one of your words, will influence your sect's prosperity and decline. You should be careful. 
If your Zhuangshan Daosek completely declines, you won't have the face to meet your ancestors, sneered Ma Kong. Like a gambler who had just lost a huge sum, his eyes were red, and he no longer had any of the image of an expert. The Zuan master indifferently smiled. Many thanks for your reminder, but my Zhuangshan Dao sect has its own fate, and there's no need for anyone else to worry about it. Other than that, the Zhuangshan Dao sect is mine now, and my word is what counts. My style might not be the same as the previous Zuan masters, so don't view the Zhuangshan Dao sect in the same way as before. Today is a good example. Don't question my resolve. What happened today is my announcement to the world that the Zhuangshan Dao sect is no longer the same. Not just any random person can come bully us. Ma Zingkong's expression sank. The Zuan master's words could not be clearer. The Zhuangshan Dao sect would not be paying the heaven-suppressing magic sect back for its loss. HMPH. I hope you won't regret this. Ma Zingkong led his disciples away. Hans Henayu, who had just awoken, glared at Long Chen as he walked past. His eyes were full of rancor. He was just about to say a few words. Something about just wait. Fuck off. Looking at you disgusts me. Long Chen directly went up and slapped him flying. Ma Zingkong was infuriated and his fists creaked. But in the end, he didn't even turn back. He just continued walking. Other disciples went up to grad Hans Henayu who had fainted again. They dejectedly left with Ma Zingkong. These disciples had come so tyrannically. But when they left, they were like dejected dogs. The difference between the two was truly immense. Ma Zingkong was gone, as well as his disciples. But this place was a complete mess now. The land had been completely destroyed. This battle was extremely beneficial for those who participated and even just the spectators. You should all go back and digest your gains. Long Chen, you come with me. The Zuan master patted Long Chen on the shoulder, and the two of them vanished from the other sites. The other disciples felt like they hadn't expressed their delight enough. The dragon blood legion erupted into cheering. Today, they had witnessed Long Chen's wild, domineering air. He had actually defeated Hans Henayu. His glory was the entire dragon blood legions, and it felt like they were the ones who had defeated Hans Henayu. Their excitement almost made them crazy. Some of the dragon blood legions warriors were cheering like wolves, doing their best to unleash all their excitement. This battle had caused their blood to boil, and their fervor was overflowing. Even the other inner sect disciples cheered along with them. In fact, they started to feel like just being in the same sect as Long Chen was several lives worth of luck. Fan Song had a bitter smile. He found that even his people were completely won over by Long Chen's charisma now, and they were cheering. Hu Gishan's expression was exceedingly dark. Long Chen's power made him uneasy and afraid. Gao Zian Yang's expression also wasn't good. He snorted and directly left. But these inner sect disciples didn't scatter for a long while. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is our Zhuangshan Dao sect's number one divine general. No one can beat him. It was unknown who shouted this. But the cheering instantly erupted to a new level. All these disciples were cheering loudly to express their reverence and worship for Long Chen. In the cultivation world, strength was respected. All people revered the strong. Only once you were strong enough could you attract a group of loyal followers. That was the charisma of the strong. And whether it was men or women, they couldn't resist that charisma. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I love you. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I want to marry you. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I'll have your children. The women directly took advantage of their natural superiority. And their sharper voices resounded over the men's cheering. Can you grow up? Long Chen's two lovers are right there. But you're still shouting stuff like this? Are you pigs? Seeing quite a few traitors. Hu Shiyu immediately roared. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er simply laughed. They knew this was just a way for these disciples to express their excitement. And it wasn't serious. In fact, the more people cheered like this, the more pride they felt. Long Chen was a hero in their hearts. And if he won over more people's approval, they would feel more pride. Seeing how crazily the disciples were cheering, the elders couldn't help being speechless. They had to admit that Long Chen's charisma was truly powerful. It was regretful they hadn't encountered such a heroic figure in their youth. Luo Fan's gaze was cold and he left without a word. The elder hall master shook his head as he watched him leaving. The alchemy pavilion master also left. The others on that level couldn't help but sigh. Long Chen's fame in the Zhuangshan Dao sect had grown once more. Although he had been famous before this, it hadn't reached this level before. This was different from before. This time, they had been provoked by the heaven-suppressing magic sect, and they had lost the first four battles. 
which had caused the disciples to feel humiliated and the sect to lose face. It was the Dragonblood Legion who had reversed the tide, and Long Chen had been the one to win the final crucial battle. He had defeated a rank 7 celestial who was unimaginably powerful. Therefore, he had completely won over the disciples' hearts. Even the disciples who were enemies with him had been won over. Long Chen was under the Elder Hall's banner, and the Law Enforcement Hall and Alchemy Pavilion were both against him, so they definitely weren't feeling very happy. Furthermore, this battle showed his immense potential. Now whether it was the new disciples or the old disciples, no one could keep up with him. Not even Gao Xian Yang was capable of it. All these experts on the level of Hall Masters had an estimate of Gao Xian Yang's power. Perhaps he could have relied on his greater spiritual Yuan to exhaust Hans Henayu, but the end result would just be a draw. He definitely wouldn't have been able to defeat Chiring his opponent. The disciples cheered for a long time before leaving. Long Chen's name in the Zhuanchen Dao sect once more rose to an unprecedented height. Chapter 1126 The Zuan Master's Warning Translator Born to be you have gods. Long Chen was brought back to the Zuan Master's private room. It was the Zuan Master who spoke first. He bitterly smiled. In all my years of cultivation, I've never slapped a life star expert's face before. Sigh. I wonder if I'll have a chance in the future. Long Chen also bitterly smiled. Zuan Master, don't be so sarcastic. That bastard was completely intolerable. If I were stronger. I'd have directly cut him to pieces. Thinking of how Ma Kong had caught his throat and held him like a dog. Killing intent burned in Long Chen's eyes. There was no way he could accept this. He hated Ma Kong for being shameless. And he hated himself for being powerless. He was still too weak. He couldn't accept living like this where he could only endure being humiliated. I'm not being sarcastic. That slap of yours was truly amazing. It allowed my Zhuanchen Dao sect to finally vent a bit. Praised the Zuan Master. Zuan Master, I don't understand something. Can you answer some of my questions? Asked Long Chen. Whatever you have to say, have a seat first. The Zuan Master sat down in front of a tea table. He started to steep some tea. Long Chen directly asked, How did the heaven suppressing magic sect raise such foolish idiots? From top to bottom, not one of them has a brain. Long Chen was extremely puzzled. In his mind, People who had reached greater heights of cultivation should have been masterful people with high accomplishments in the mind as well. After all, their comprehension of the heavenly deos had to be high to reach their level. For example, there was Elder Li Changfang, the Elder Hall Master, and the Zuan Master. Their bearing was graceful and elegant, and they were all incredibly wise without being arrogant or ostentatious. That was something that won them his esteem. In comparison, there was Ma Zing Kong. He was an idiot, a big idiot. It wasn't as if the Zuan Master's acting had been incredibly marvelous, but he had still directly jumped into the trap. Furthermore, after he had realized it, he had immediately lost his calm and attacked. How was he a grand person at all? He was more like a hoodlum. Haha, <laughs> in truth, the cultivation world is not as complicated as you're making it. It's very simple, even more simple than the secular world. The Zuan Master smiled. He raised the teapot and Long Chen was just about to take it when the Zuan master stopped him. He personally poured tea for both of them before continuing. The rules of the cultivation world are no different from the rules of wild animals. Power is everything. There is nothing else. You might feel that the cultivation world is full of idiots with laughably childish methods and zero skill, but that's simply natural. Take for example the secular world. Perhaps in your hometown, two nations are able to coexist. That means their power is about the same. The two nations will fight, both internally and externally. All kinds of schemes and traps will be laid out to defeaturing their opponents. That is what happens when the two are around the same level of power. At that point, they use their smarts to defeaturing their opponents and resolve their problems. Their intelligence and schemes decide their destiny. Now consider the cultivation world. Power is everything. No matter how smart you are, in front of absolute power, you still won't have any ability to resist. For example, Today, you were able to use various tricks and traps against Hans Henayu, allowing you to win. Your combat experience and sharp judgment allowed you to become today's winner. Your superior intellect revealed itself. But what if you had been against Ma Zing Kong? Would your intelligence have any use? I just didn't think Ma Zing Kong would be so shameless. Who would have thought a sect leader would attack a foundation forging disciple? Said Long Chen hatefully. Child, you're wrong. Cultivation base has nothing to do with shamelessness. It is not the case that people with higher cultivation bases have more integrity and dignity. 
If you treat the cultivation world like that, you will suffer greatly. To be despicable is the natural conduct of despicable people. To be noble is a noble person's epitaph. In the cultivation world, noble people can usually only bring their nobility with them to the grave. As for despicable people, they live happily for a long time, said the Zuan master. Disciple understands. Long Chen nodded. The Zuan master's words had enlightened him to the world. He shouldn't have used his ideal yardstick to measure the cultivation world. Your methods are ruthless enough, vicious enough, and you have smarts. But there are two points that make it so you cannot be a true leader. One is that you do not have enough restraint. I'm sure that with your smarts, you can see through many more things. Regretfully, you have no restraint and didn't do things properly. Otherwise, you'd have saved yourself a great deal of trouble, said the Zuan master. Long Chen couldn't help but bitterly smile. His character was just like this, and he also had no way to change it. Sometimes, he would also feel like he was acting very foolishly. Despite clearly seeing a trap laid down by his opponents, he would still jump into it. He would repeatedly tell himself to stay calm, to not act blindly, as that would force him into a passive position. He should first plan how to counter the trap before walking into it, because that way, he could counterattack more effectively, but it didn't have the slightest use. Once his fury soared, he wouldn't even know who he was. At that time, his intelligence was practically zero. After several instances of this, he understood that it was the influence of the nine-star hegemon body art. Once he was furious, his head would forget how to think, and all his previous warnings to himself would be thrown out the window. After realizing this problem, he decided not to think too much about it. He would just do what he had to do. For example, when Ma Zingkong had released Long Chen, he had immediately slapped him. He hadn't even been thinking of doing it. It had practically been instinct. At that time, he had wanted to kill Ma Zingkong right there and then. The second thing is that you aren't despicable enough, and you aren't able to harden your heart. You are unwilling to make any sacrifices, so you are unable to become a true leader. I've observed you for a long while now. If you had just made some slight sacrifices or used a few contemptible means, you wouldn't have been forced into such a passive state by the law enforcement hall or alchemy pavilion several times. However, everything has two sides. It is precisely because of this that you possess such incomparable charisma, making others willing to follow you into death. You can't be a ruler, but you are a perfect general. However, are you planning on leading your people to fight all the way until the end? Asked the Zuan master profoundly. His meaning was that if he continued to charge forward recklessly, this character of his wouldn't be a problem. But if one day he reached a limit and had to stop, at that time, if he still didn't use the methods of a ruler on his subordinates, his group would quickly fracture. This was what the Zuan master had been saying back when he had discussed internal and external battles with him. This was a method a ruler had to be in control of. But Long Chen detested doing such things. The great pen spreads its wings and soars into the clouds. It tries to break through the dome of the sky, and even if it dies a hundred times, its will does not waver. Long Chen softly muttered to himself. Legend was that the Kun transformed into the Peng, and it was dissatisfied with heaven and earth's restrictions. It would rather become enemies of the world and break free of its restrictions to be free. The Kun Peng was the definition of wild arrogance. In the myths, its fate was always to be eradicated beneath the heavenly deos. It was like a mystical curse. When the Kun Peng was born, it had to fight against the heavens. It would rather die beneath the heavenly deos than be bound by its shackles. This was similar to Long Chen's fate. At first, Long Chen hadn't wanted to fight against the heavens, but the heavenly deos tried to destroy him all the time, and so he had no choice but to become their enemy. So Long Chen's enemy was not his fellow cultivators, but this entire world and the heavenly deos. He understood what the Zuan master was saying here, and yet, he couldn't do that. My path is different from others. I must advance without looking back. Once I retreat, not only will I die, but I will also implicate every other person following me, said Long Chen. The Zuan master nodded. It seemed Long Chen already knew many things. Although he didn't know he was a heaven defier, he had already prepared himself to walk the path of defying the heavens until the end. Was your oath today serious? Asked the Zuan master. Yes, that bastard humiliated me to cast a shadow on my Dao heart. If I can't get my revenge, it may create a heart devil in the future. Long Chen nodded. This was like a lump had been placed on his heart, making it hard for him to breathe. In truth, according to reason, being humiliated when a grand sect leader attacked you was very normal. In fact, if it was another person, they might even feel honored. 
But Long Chen felt stifled. Whenever he thought of this, he would feel furious. He had to get revenge for this. The Zuan master was lost in thought for a long while. He suddenly said, The heaven suppressing magic sect has a close relationship with Pill Valley. The reason they are so strong and could grow so quickly is definitely related to Pill Valley. Many powerful sects have close relationships with Pill Valley. So you should be careful. Long Chen was startled. Looking at the Zuan master, he wanted to ask a few things. But then thinking about it, he decided not to. The Zuan master was simply warning him that he was underestimating Pill Valley. Will my actions today bring trouble to the Dao sect? Asked Long Chen. The Dao sect's troubles have never come to an end. If we still didn't strike back, we would completely decline. This counterattack will definitely quickly bring about a few consequences. But I knew such a day would come. I started my preparation many years ago. So it won't cause too much of a problem for the sect in the short term. However, while this continent looks peaceful on the surface, there are many hidden undercurrents and countless dangers. Many powers are beginning to stir. If the Dao sect continued to stay silent, it's likely that it would never have another chance to rise. Your arrival is an opportunity. I'm using you to grasp that opportunity to allow the Zuanshan Dao sect to rise, said the Zuan master. You have that much trust in this little one. Long Chen couldn't help but bitterly smile. It's the same as how you trust me. The Zuan master smiled. He took out a bead and offered it to Long Chen. This life star bead is your battle spoil. Take it. Chapter 1127 Refusing Kindness Translator Born to be what is this? Long Chen didn't know what this bead was. However, he sensed powerful heavenly Dao energy from it. This is Ma Zingkong's life star bead. Inside is his life's comprehension of the heavenly Daos. There's enough energy in it to allow all your Dragon Blood Legion's members to comprehend it together. Once they comprehended the energy within, their ability to use heavenly Dao energy will soar to an unprecedented level. Battling across realms will be as easy as breathing, said the Zuan master. Long Chen was shocked. Battling across realms would be as easy as breathing? Just what kind of heaven-defying ability would that be? Wouldn't that mean each one of them would have the power of at least a rank 6 celestial? Long Chen was delighted, but then he quickly thought of something and hesitated. I can't accept this life star bead. Why not? The Zuan master was surprised Novaloon.com if my guess is right. If this life star bead is given to the elder hall master, there will be a high chance of him breaking through his current barrier and reaching your level. Right. Yes. He would have a 30% chance. The Zuan master thought about it and nodded. Then you can give this life star bead to the elder hall master. Remember, I'm giving it to the elder hall master. Don't give it to anyone else. Especially not the law enforcement hall master, said Long Chen cautiously. If the Zuan master gave it to the law enforcement hall master, he'd go crazy. Why give it to him and not keep it for your dragon blood legion? You should know that with it, your dragon blood legion would grow to a monstrous level. Because the elder hall master is my respected elder. I would rather give this opportunity to those who have helped me. That will make my heart feel better. This reason of yours sounds a bit far-fetched. There's another reason. That's that my aspirations are greater than you think. What do you mean? If the Dragon Blood Legion comprehended this life star bead, their comprehension of heavenly Dao energy would rise. And in the future, breaking through would be simple. Their combat power would also become monstrous. I believe all of this. But I also know that anything that has benefits also has disadvantages. The bigger the benefit, the greater the disadvantage. And my guess is that if the Dragon Blood Legion uses this life star bead, their cultivation bases will never reach the same level as Ma Zing Kong's. Yes, that is correct. But even so, amongst over 13,000 people, at least 10% will be able to reach the level of a Hall Master within 100 years. Is that not satisfactory? The Zuan Master still found it inconceivable. How many geniuses found their cultivation bases stuck before the king level? Just reaching the king level would be their dream. If the Dragon Blood Legion digested the life star bead, they would definitely reach the king realm within 10 years, and they would be able to attack even higher realms in a hundred years. A tenth of them would be over a thousand people. It had to be known that the Zuanshan Dao sect only had less than a hundred people on the level of Hall Masters. However, Long Chen was still dissatisfied with such a thing. It's not that disciple is greedy, but that disciple cannot wait. Furthermore, my target is not the level of Hall Masters. My target is so far that even I don't know it. If my brother's cultivation bases are stuck at the Hall Master level, but I continue progressing, they won't be able to keep up with me. That would make them feel worse than dying. 
We are all life and death brothers, and we understand each other's hearts. They would rather die on the battlefield than get stuck. So this life star bead might be a treasure to others, but it's a poison to the dragon blood legion. It would destroy us, said Long Chen. The Zuan master looked at Long Chen for a long time. He couldn't tell just how far Long Chen's target was. If the Dragon Blood Legion's members all reached the Hall Master level, they would be able to establish their own power in the Martial Heaven continent. What more did he want? Do you really have the assurance that your Dragon Blood Legion will surpass that level? Asked the Zuan Master. I don't have the assurance, but at least our futures will still be unknown. As long as it's not set in stone, there are limitless possibilities. But if we use the Life Star Bead, our path will be blocked. Once a person knows they've reached the limit of their life, struggling no longer has any meaning, said Long Chen. I didn't expect you to be thinking this far. All right then, I'll give this life star bead to Liu Kang. However, doesn't that mean you worked for nothing? I could. The Zuan master was a bit embarrassed. The only other thing they had obtained was some raw material and ores that couldn't be directly used. You're too courteous. I didn't work for nothing. Bloodrinker has been promoted to a king item which is my greatest harvest. Furthermore, this battle allowed me to see a new way to attack. Great battles are always beneficial to one's combat experience. Furthermore, I even got to slap Ma Zingkong in the face. That's currently my greatest slap, said Long Chen while gesturing. The Zuan master couldn't help but laugh. That slap of Long Chen's might echo throughout the ages. There hadn't been one like it before, and there probably wouldn't be another like it in the future. Then how about this? You can directly take half the Zuanchen Dao Sect Yuan Spirit Beads and Yuan Spirit Stones, said the Zuan Master after pondering it for a moment. If anyone else heard that, their jaws would definitely drop to the ground. The Zuan Master was actually willing to give half the sect's resources to Long Chen. That money spending style was absolutely terrifying. But Long Chen shook his head. I accept your kindness, but in truth, I know the Zuanchen Dao Sect isn't that wealthy, so I don't need these resources. Furthermore, although I'm not too sure about this, if I use too many of the Zuanchen Dao sect's resources, it might bring misfortune to the sect. Long Chen was grateful to the Zuan master for his actions, but through the arrival of the heaven-suppressing magic sect and how they had acted, he could tell that the Zuanchen Dao sect didn't have as much wealth as he had imagined. Now, he smelled the hint of a large power bitterly trying to endure. Just the fact that the Zuan master would say this was enough. You, you know. The Zuan master was startled. Did Long Chen know that he was a heaven defier? Otherwise, he wouldn't have added that last sentence. I don't know what is with me. Previously, Senior Ling Yunzi secretly gave me a subtle warning, but I didn't really understand. However, as I received more and more setbacks, I find that no matter where I go, I am an unlucky star. My beauties died. My brothers sacrificed themselves. No matter how hard I fought, I still implicated quite a few people. So I've gradually come to understand there is some merciless hand in the unseen world that is constantly twisting my fate. The way Senior Ling Yunzi looked at me is the same way you're looking at me. You both know some things, but you can't tell me. I've guessed a bit of it though. In truth, your smartest decision should have been to be a spectator and just watch me in silence. The more you help me, the more you'll be implicated by me. So while I'm grateful you would be willing to give me half the sect's resources, I can't accept. I have to work using my own methods to get the Zuanchen Dao sect's resources, as that's the only way to avoid causing too much trouble for the sect, said Long Chen. The Zuan master had clearly seen through some of his secrets, but was still willing to split such a huge amount of wealth with him. That came with a huge risk of drawing karma. That was what made Long Chen the most grateful. This action of the Zuan master made Long Chen finally view the Zuanchen Dao sect as his home. This action was touching. But Long Chen knew what happened to those around him. If he relied on a mountain, the mountain would collapse. If he used a water source, it would dry up. He didn't want to implicate the Zuanchen Dao sect. The Zuan master couldn't help but sigh emotionally upon seeing that Long Chen knew so much. At such a young age, he was under immense pressure. The reason he was strong was because he had no choice but to be strong. But the Zuan master didn't dare to say anything about heaven defiers. He didn't even dare to hint at it. The higher a person's cultivation base, the more sensitive the heavenly deos were to them. It was like each one of his movements was under the watch of the heavenly deos, so he couldn't go even slightly over the line. Long Chen left the Zuan master's room and appeared in the inner sect plaza. When he appeared, countless disciples immediately surrounded him. When Long Chen had been brought away by the Zuan master, 
the Dragonblood Legion had decided to wait for him in the Intersect Plaza. Seeing that, the other Intersect Disciples followed along. But that wasn't all. Even Outer Sect Disciples came running over as long as they weren't working. Although the Outer Sect Disciples hadn't had the qualifications to personally witness the battles between the Zuanchen Deo Sect and Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's Disciples, they had watched it through a projected screen formation. First, they had lost four rounds, then they had won four rounds, then a rank 7 Celestial had appeared, and Long Chen had defeated that terrifying opponent. All the Disciples were so excited that they almost went crazy. Charge! As soon as Long Chen appeared, the Dragonblood Legion surrounded him and tossed him high into the air, but the Dragonblood Legion only got to toss him a few times before they were pushed out by other disciples. There were even quite a few powerful female warriors who charged a path through the men to join in. Hey, who's pulling my pants? Long Chen shouted from the air. In front of these disciples' fervent passion, he would feel bad resisting. Although his head was dizzy from being tossed around, he let them continue for a long time. Eventually, with the Dragonblood Legion's protection, he escaped their encirclement and returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. But as soon as he returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain, their grand gates were packed with countless disciples carrying wine jars. A huge celebration was held on Crouching Dragon Mountain. This celebration lasted for a full week, and all the food and drink was offered by the Zuanchen Deo sect free of charge. Everyone did their best to eat and drink as much as possible. This celebration didn't just occur on Crouching Dragon Mountain. The entire Deo sect, including Inner Sect Disciples, Outer Sect Disciples, and even the Elders, entered a state of merriment. This battle had allowed the Zuanchen Deo sect which had been suppressed for many years to finally vent their resentment. Chapter 1128 Little One Arrives in the World Translator Born to be not everyone was happy. The law enforcement hall's Luo Fan was unable to feel the slightest joy. He had a dark expression on his face as he sat. Beside him was a standing elder. He was Luo Fan's trusted aide, the vice hall master. Luo Fan raised a cup of tea, but his hand was quivering and the teacup suddenly shattered, the tea splashing everywhere. Luo Fan swung his hand, directly crushing the fragments into smithereens. Liu Kang's definitely laughing at me right now. Luo Fan's eyebrows were vertical as he clenched his teeth. His face twisted into a sinister expression. You can be sure of that. Originally, our law enforcement hall had the absolute advantage. But after Long Chen arrived, years of our work have been ruined. Now the Elder Hall is becoming arrogant. HMPH. I dislike the Elder Hall the most. Those sanctimonious fellows are all pedantic hypocrites. They've hindered the Deo sect's development. Their bullshit about taking things step by step and teaching things in line with the disciples' abilities is such nonsense. If we used the law enforcement hall's methods and just directly sent them to the battlefield to temper themselves, not only would the talented ones be picked out faster, but it would also save endless resources. If the Deo sect is left in their hands, it will simply stagnate, said the vice hall master helplessly. The Zuan master's mind is muddled. Every time I put forward suggestions or tell him that this method of raising disciples is wrong, he'll just smile and brush me off. He even says the Deo sect's inheritance can't be changed so easily, and unless I can give him an example that moves him, he won't try it, but he doesn't give me the authority or any disciples to raise myself. I spent my own money to raise some disciples, losing money instead of getting paid for my work, and that got me some power, but the Zuan master still refused to give me enough authority, and now the authority over the infernal devil abyss has been snatched away. It's definitely because of that bastard Liu Kang's dirty tricks. All I want is to work for the Zuanchen Deo sect, but bastards keep blocking my way. Fuck. Luo Fan became more and more infuriated until he burst into curses. That bastard Long Chen. He ruined so many years of my work. I wish I could crush him. Luo Fan looked like he wanted to bite Long Chen to death. The vice hall master just watched as Luo Fan's fury soared. He didn't say a word. Don't you normally have so many clever ideas? Why are you mute now? Luo Fan unconsciously turned his fury to him for being silent. The vice hall master seemed to be used to this, and he didn't get angry. Right now, there's only one way to reverse our disadvantage. You know what to do. That's just bullshit. I wanted to kill Long Chen a long time ago, but his fame is growing greater and greater. Even the Zuan master treats him favorably. From his attitude, it's clear he plans on taking him as an apprentice. If I kill him, I'll be executed, raged Luo Fan. You don't necessarily need to do anything personally to kill someone, said the vice hall master profoundly. What are you talking about? 
demanded Luo Fan. Hall Master, Long Chen is a black sheep that is obstructing the Dao sect's development. Think about how you will feel when the Zhuangshan Dao sect is destroyed. If you succeed, you'll be able to completely reform the way the sect raises disciples. Because of you, the Dao sect will soar to the glory it should possess. Even if you pass away, the future generations will still laud your contribution. Even if they forget who the Zuan master was, they'll definitely remember you. You're the one who is most clear on how the Zhuangshan Dao sect has declined. Right now, the sect is teetering on the verge of collapse. And what the sect needs is someone capable of reversing this crazy tide. That's why you need to decide whether or not to do this, said the vice hall master. Luo Fan was silent for a long time. In the end, he shook his head. It's not possible. Don't bring it up again. Hall Master Pao. The vice sect master was unresident, but he had only just opened his mouth when Luo Fan sent him flying with a slap. I've already said not to mention this again. Are you deaf? Roared Luo Fan. As you wish. Hall Master. The vice hall master crawled up from the ground and bowed. Luo Fan didn't see the rancor that flashed through his eyes. These seven days of celebration continued without a break. As the main character, Long Chen was challenged by all the inner sect disciples one by one in a drinking contest. Others could rest a bit before continuing to drink, but he couldn't. This wine was free, and it was the precious medicinal wine. It was very beneficial to the body, so they were going all out to drink as much as possible. Drinking wine was now being treated as cultivating, and being repeatedly challenged by tens of thousands of disciples. Long Chen continuously drank for seven days. Finally, he couldn't last any longer and collapsed into a pile of mush. He had drunk a ridiculous amount and had practically poured a small lake of wine into his stomach. He slept soundly for three whole days. Long Chen drank the most, while Wild ate the most. He spent all seven days eating until finally, the Dao sect sent word that there was no need to continue requesting for food. There was no longer any left. Wild had consumed all the delicacies the Zhuangshan Dao sect had stored. When Long Chen woke up, he felt a burst of pain in his head. That was the result of too much medicinal energy. When he left his room, he saw that the others weren't any better off than him. Many of the Dragonblood Legion's warriors were staggering as they walked. He snorted. Had there been such a need to go all out drinking? If they wanted wine, they could buy it at any time. He didn't feel the slightest sympathy for those people holding their heads as they staggered back and forth. Who had asked them to drink so much? Just because it was free didn't mean they had to go so far. Long Chen arrived at the back of Crouching Dragon Mountain. He lazily laid on a rock and soaked in the sun's rays, enjoying the scenery. Just at that moment, Men Qi and Tang Wanner arrived by his side. Men Qi waved her hand, and a large egg appeared in front of her. Long Chen, look, it's about to hatch, said Men Qi excitedly. Men Qi and Tang Wanner didn't like drinking. They had only joined in for the first day, and afterward, they had gotten back to their proper business. At that time, Long Chen had been heroically defeating his fellow disciples crying out that he would beat them one against ten thousand. Men Qi had gathered quite a few treasures to nourish the egg, and she had spent a huge sum, buying the best possible things for it. All kinds of magical beast essence blood, precious medicines, crystal cores, spirit talismans, and such had been used on the egg. After all that nourishment, there were now countless lines lit up on the egg. The life fluctuations coming from it grew stronger and stronger. That was a sign that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was about to hatch. Men Qi found Long Chen just to let him bear witness to its arrival in the world. In a certain spot where many runes propagated on the egg, cracks began to appear. Following that, a tender beak poked out of it. A large piece of the shell fell to the ground, clanking with a metallic sound. As a pecking sound repeatedly rang out, more and more pieces of the shell broke off. Finally, it revealed a hatling inside. It jumped out of the shell and released a tender bird cry before charging at Men Qi. But as soon as it tried, it fell on the ground. It still had no feathers, and its bare wings repeatedly slapped on the ground as it tried to go over to Men Qi. What shocked Long Chen was that this newly born hatling was directly breaking the hard bricks beneath its feet as it struggled. I'm over here. Good job. Men Qi quickly ran over to its side and comforted it. She also sent her spiritual strength to calm down its excited emotions. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had only just hatched, and yet it was ten meters tall. There were already runes on its wings, and based on the force with which its wings slapped the ground, its power would probably be enough to kill a sixth-rank magical beast. Although the hatling was pacified by Men Qi, it continued to excitedly cry out. 
Its voice became louder and louder. It was a nice sound, but it was so loud that it shook their eardrums. All right, that's enough. Here, have your first meal. Menki smiled and patted its wing. Perhaps it was due to hunger, but it only stopped crying now. It began to devour the shattered eggshells. When it devoured the fragments, Long Chen saw that its runes would light up slightly. The sticky liquid that was still stuck on its body instantly faded. Furthermore, these shell fragments, which were harder than a treasure item, would vanish from all his senses as soon as they entered its mouth. What terrifying devouring power. It was no wonder it was called the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. It possessed such terrifying devouring power even just after birth. Once the shells were completely eaten, it clearly appeared more awake. Its body was now clean, and although it was still featherless, there was a hint of a divine steed's aura. Its wings moved. It looked like it was trying to fly, but it didn't succeed. Instead, it slapped a large hole in the ground, covering Long Chen and the others with dust. You're still too young to fly. Here, have some tasty food. Men Ki took out a large ball as big as a person from her spatial ring. This large ball was similar in shape to a medicinal pill. It was a special beast food that beast tamers would create in accordance with the needs of their houseboats. This one had ground up bones and crystal cores of magical beasts, as well as essence blood. Other than those things, there were also a few essential nutrients that magical beasts required, as well as special spices that they liked. Creating these food balls was a fundamental skill of beast tamers. Menki had done everything she could to make the best food ball for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. The little hatling excitedly began to eat. Wow, boss, you raided a bird nest? Why is this featherless bird so ugly? Guo Ran was drawn over by the disturbance. Suddenly, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow opened its beak and pointed it at Guo Ran. Guo Ran's body rapidly shrank and flew into its mouth. Chapter 1129 The Plan for Fostering Translator Born to be all of them jumped in fright. Guo Ran had actually been directly pulled into the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's stomach by some strange force. It was too fast for anyone to react. Guo Ran didn't even understand what was going on before he landed in its stomach. Cloud, spit him out, cried Men Ki. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow opened its mouth and spat out Guo Ran. Right now, he was covered in his armor. Cloud, you can't act like this. You have to differentiate between friends and enemies, chided Men Ki. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow let out a few chirps that sounded wrong. That stunned Long Chen and Tang Wan Er. How did this hatling already possess such high intelligence? Men Ki listened carefully for a long time and couldn't help but break into a smile. Cloud says that Guo Ran said it was ugly. So Guo Ran's a bad person. Guo Ran was pale. Just now, when he had been swallowed into its stomach, he had felt a strange force and he had instinctively summoned his armor. Several thin cracks had appeared on his armor. Those lines were very thin, as if strings had cut into it. Guo Ran's armor was made of material on the level of king items. It was incredibly hard, and weapons had difficulty causing any damage to it. It was unknown what kind of force had caused these marks. If it had instead been a body of flesh and blood, how could it endure such power? Wouldn't it be instantly torn through? Just thinking about it made Guo Ran's expression change. Just now, he had walked past the gates of hell. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow once more chirped a few times, and Menki laughed. Cloud says that it was just trying to scare you as a punishment for calling it ugly. It wasn't really trying to eat you. Long Chen looked at the marks on Guo Ran's armor and couldn't help being shocked. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had only just been born, but it already possessed such terrifying power. It was truly worthy of being a legendary existence. Cloud is able to speak to you already, asked Long Chen Novaloon.com Our souls are connected. If it wants to express something, I can understand it. The translation won't be 100% right, but there won't be any big deviations. As a cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow, it possesses its innate skills even though it just hatched. Any flesh swallowed by it will be cut into pieces by the strands of energy within it. It possesses spatial energy and an innate devouring ability. So even huge magical beasts can be swallowed in one gulp. As for a matured cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow, it could gulp down all life forms within a thousand miles just by opening its mouth. That was what earned it the name heaven-swallowing. Menki gently patted its head as she explained. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow seemed to enjoy Menki's pampering. Isn't that a bit too fierce? It doesn't even have fee I mean. It's already so strong after just being born. Guo Ran clearly hadn't recognized what it was, 
or he wouldn't have ended up in his previous plight. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow was just a hatling right now, and it truly did look a bit ugly. It looked like it would take a while for it to grow feathers. As an ancient beast with a terrifying inheritance, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's growth speed wasn't very fast. It also required plenty of resources. Long Chen, this little one might make us poor again, said Menki worriedly. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow chirped a few times, embarrassing Menki. Its intelligence was truly high, and it basically understood her words. It said that it could eat a bit less. That made her feel warm and ashamed. Back then, that powerful 10th rank cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow had given her one of her children, only because she had been helpless. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow would require an ocean's worth of resources once it was born. Normally, the mother would use its own essence blood as feed, but that 10th rank cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow had been injured, and she didn't have enough essence blood to raise both children. She had had no choice but to sacrifice one. Now, after a moment of excitement, Menki realized a serious problem. This little one was in an extremely hungry state right now. That was very likely because the mother had already decided to abandon it, and so she hadn't spent enough of her essence blood on it after a while. That led to an innate deficiency that made it feel exceptionally hungry now that it was born. This wasn't true hunger, but the result of being deficient in some kind of energy. It would need more resources to make up for its innate weakness. Now it was incredibly hungry. So hungry that even Menki felt unwell. She hadn't expected its appetite to be so great. The food she had prepared wasn't even close to enough. She took out a few more food balls. Those were originally stock for the future. But she couldn't bear to see it so hungry. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow surprisingly didn't eat the food balls. That made Menki even more ashamed. As a beast tamer, she wasn't even able to raise a houseboat. Don't worry and eat it. I'll handle the rest and won't let you starve. Long Chen comforted Cloud. If he couldn't even raise such a little fellow, what kind of man would he be? Unexpectedly, Cloud ran over to Long Chen's side and rubbed its head against Long Chen happily. Cloud says that it remembers your aura, and that you're a good person. But Guo Ran is bad, so don't stay with him, laughed Men Ki. Guo Ran rolled his eyes. Wasn't his only offense not praising it? Was it worth sowing dissension? Long Chen was startled. He supposed it only made sense that you couldn't judge such an ancient species with common sense. If it remembered his aura, that meant it had memories from when it was just an egg. Cloud devoured several more beast balls. However, it didn't treat Tang Wan'er very enthusiastically. To it, Tang Wan'er was still an outsider. But Tang Wan'er very much adored it, constantly stroking it. And Cloud didn't refuse. Guo Ran went to try to repair their awkward relationship. And as a result... Cloud simply opened its mouth and he fled in terror, vanishing like a wisp of smoke while Menki and Tang Wan'er laughed. Whatever it needs, get it with points. Money isn't a problem. Letting it grow up healthy is the most important point, and it's the only way to pay back seniors' trust, said Long Chen to Menki. But Cloud's body is extremely deficient in many areas. It'll require plenty of adjustments and resources to fix, said Menki. How much? Menki hesitated for a moment and then clenched her teeth. At a rough estimate, using the best resources, it will probably require 5 billion points. Although they had long since been prepared, Long Chen and Tang Wan'er both jumped in shock. Wan'er, how many points do we have now? Asked Long Chen. A few days ago, Sister King Yu said that we had 4 billion and 800 million points, because the majority of our points were already distributed to each individual. If we don't have enough, we can ask them to pool their points again, said Tang Wan'er. Although they had obtained over 10 billion points in that battle, the Dragonblood Legion had equipped themselves with the best weapons and were training in the best training rooms. They naturally burned their points quickly. 10 billion points was a shocking amount, but when distributed, it wasn't even a million points each. That wasn't enough to even get a king item. Guo Ran was also a big money spender. Although the material for his forging had been sent by Zhen Wenlong, just the process of forging things required all kinds of supplementary materials such as inscriptions or divine extracts. Long Chen, will this affect the entire Dragonblood Legion's development? Asked Menki worriedly. Foolish wife, Cloud is our companion and also a member of the Dragonblood Legion. Its power is the Dragonblood Legion's power. Even if it's just for the sake of our future, we need Cloud to grow up healthy. Don't worry, although it'll be a bit tight. I think with a bit of adjustment, it won't affect our progress. Long Chen smiled. 
Meng Qi blushed upon being called wife and she glared at Long Chen, but that made her feel warm. How are we supposed to adjust? Asked Meng Qi. Right now, each member of the Dragonblood Legion has quite a few points. It should be enough for them in the short term, so we won't need to give any more for a while. As for the points that we have, although it's not enough, there are other options. Divide the required resources into things that have to be bought with points in the sect, and things that we can get on our own. For example, I can get you precious medicines, and we can get some of the magical beast flesh, crystal cores, and bones on our own. Our disciples can occasionally go out for tempering, which will benefit their cultivation basis, and we'll profit. We can even issue missions to get those things, which should be cheaper. Furthermore, I'm still getting points from selling medicinal pills to the outer sect so there's no need to worry about it right now, said Long Chen. Long Chen, you really are amazing. Men Qi and Tang Wan are excitedly hugged Long Chen, one on the left and one on the right. They even gave him a kiss each. Just as Long Chen was enjoying the feeling, another mouth came over. Hey, you're too late. Let me kiss you instead. Cloud actually learned from Men Qi and Tang Wan er's examples. Long Chen hastily went up to hug and kissed it instead. He was afraid of being accidentally swallowed into its stomach. Tang Wan er and Men Qi laughed. Cloud was truly adorable. The two of them continued to play with it. While Long Chen walked toward a depressed Guo Ran who was sitting on a distant boulder. Chapter 1130 Group Seclusion Translator Born to be what's with the face? It's not like anyone told you to have so little eloquence. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. Boss, is it because I don't know how to speak nicely that I can't get any woman to like me? Asked Guo Ran. In truth, women are comparatively pettier, and your mouth is truly skilled at unwittingly infuriating them. Take what just happened as an example. That little hatling is Men Qi's houseboat, and you said it was ugly. Don't you think that's a slap to Men Qi's face? Men Qi's gentle and nice, and she doesn't like fighting. If it had instead been one or, she'd have kicked you flying, said Long Chen. Boss, now that you put it like this, it seems that really is the case. I definitely have to fix the way I talk, said Guo Ran solemnly. But then seeing Long Chen's strange expression, he asked, Boss. What's with those eyes? Are you doubting my words? Long Chen shook his head vehemently. You're my brother, so it's not that I doubt your words. Guo Ran smiled. Haha, <laughs> this is how my boss it's that I fundamentally don't believe them. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. There's no perfect person in this world. Sometimes a person's shortcomings embody their character more than their strong points. You are you. So why change? Once you change yourself, will you still be Guo Ran? You admire me. So you imitate me. Are you planning on being my shadow for a lifetime? What would be the meaning of your existence? Of the person named Guo Ran. Listen well. At the very least. If you can pull off a dream poser act. It would still possess great meaning. Boss. I'm a bit confused. Am I supposed to take your words as praise? Asked Guo Ran. Of course it's praise. Don't you feel that it's glorious to have used your own hard work and choices to go from an obscure nobody to your current height? Boss. Actually. I feel like all my current accomplishments are just because of you. You're wrong. No one in this world can truly help you. The only one who can help you is yourself. Amongst the people by my side, you're the one with the weakest strength, the weakest talent, the weakest moral. Long Chen suddenly coughed and continued. Your starting point is lower than other people, but you blazed an alternate path to reach your current level. That's definitely not a coincidence. So there's no need to feel inferior. Everything you have is the result of your own silent hard work and investment. Long Chen was the one who understood Guo Ran the best. The reason he liked to be such a poser was most likely because of his feeling of inferiority inside his heart. He needed to prove himself, which was why he wanted everyone to acknowledge him. He liked the feeling of being stared at by everyone, of being worshipped and revered by everyone. But a feeling of inferiority was also a kind of heart devil. If it was not erased, it might cause problems in the future. So Long Chen gave him this warning today. Boss, I understand. I will cast aside my sense of inferiority and be the true me. I won't imitate anyone. Guo Ran took a deep breath and nodded. Good, that's perfect. Praised Long Chen. I am Guo Ran. I am me. Starting today, I will meet every day with confidence. I will declare to the world that when it comes to posing, I am serious. Cried Guo Ran. What the fuck? There's really no saving you. Long Chen directly clapped Guo Ran on the back of the head, causing him to fall from the boulder he was sitting on. Aggrieved, Guo Ran said, Boss, didn't you just tell me to be confident, to be myself, 
Long Chen sighed for a long time, calming himself down. Confident people didn't need to be posers. Guo Ran was unable to understand his meaning. How is the armor forging? Long Chen changed the subject. He was afraid if they continued this topic, he would lose control and slap him. I've restarted all of them. Why? After forging a few thousand sets, I found that my initial forging method had too many flaws. The runes weren't compact enough, nor did they conform very well with each other, affecting the armor's defensive strength. Furthermore, I recently had a breakthrough and thought of a kind of merging rune from the ethereal crafting secret record. After a few hundred experiments, my skill with it increased, so I went back to fix those old sets of armor. But since I'm just changing a few runes, it's much easier than before, and it doesn't take as long. Going back and fixing them increases their defensive strength greatly, so it's worth it, explained Guo Ran. Long Chen didn't know much about forging, but he trusted Guo Ran. If he thought restarting was best, it was definitely necessary. Work hard on them. From the battle against the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, you've seen that the Zhuanshan Dao Sect is not secure enough. We can't entrust our lives to it. As cultivators, we need to constantly create our own trump cards to protect our future, said Long Chen. All right, I'll work hard. Boss, you should go into seclusion. Originally, I came out this time to talk to you about getting more points, but it seems. Guo Ran knew that the Dragonblood Legion didn't have that many points to spare. How many? According to my estimates, forging them all will take at least 1 billion points. That's no problem. Go get half a billion from Sister King Yu for now. When you use them up, come back and get more, said Long Chen. Guo Ran hesitated, but in the end, he couldn't help but open his mouth. Boss, considering your contributions to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, just go. Some things aren't as simple as you imagine. Side Long Chen. Guo Ran was saying that as the Zhuanshan Dao sect's number one genius, the Zhuanshan Dao sect should spend extra resources on grooming the Dragonblood Legion. Otherwise, it would appear too stingy. But the Zhuanshan Dao sect had its own financial problems. Although the Zhuan master hadn't exposed them, Long Chen could guess the Zhuanshan Dao sect was not having an easy time. It went without saying that the Zhuan master truly had some courage. That day, his offer of giving half the sect's resources to Long Chen had completely won his trust and loyalty. Long Chen's principles were very simple. Those who treated him well he would repay ten times over. The Zuan master had even taken the risk of being implicated by the heavenly deos to help him. Although Long Chen had refused his gift, he still recorded his kindness in his heart. In his eyes, any kind of resources could be slowly accumulated or obtained through other ways. But trust was always hard to get. After sending off Guo Ran, Long Chen called over Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, and Li Qi. He directly gave them the rank 6 heavenly Dao fruits. These were the gifts the heaven suppressing magic sect had traveled from so far away to give them, and they definitely couldn't waste them. There were only four, so Guo Ran could do without one for now. Although this would definitely draw attention, Long Chen couldn't be bothered with that anymore. If they continued to hide their power, it would hinder the Dragonblood Legion's development. Always hesitating wasn't Long Chen's style. Regretfully, he hadn't managed to kill Hans Henayu, or there would be a rank 7 heavenly Dao fruit. But he was happy to find that the heavenly Dao tree was truly heaven-defying. Whether the celestial that died was an innate or acquired celestial, the heavenly Dao fruit would make the consumer an innate celestial. In other words, all four of them were now innate rank 6 celestials. It was because of the heavenly Dao tree's heaven-defying ability that Long Chen had refused the life star bead. His aspirations were much greater than that. He wanted to raise a terrifying dragonblood legion that could run rampant throughout the continent. After distributing the heavenly Dao fruits, he gathered the dragonblood legion and distributed some Yuan spirit stones. He also took out a treasure. That treasure was the immemorial altar lamp. He hadn't used it before because its effects on the late sea expansion realm were essentially negligible. At the same time, it was made from the life essence of great experts and its core had been greatly harmed in the immemorial path. It was not a killing tool, but a tool for assisting with cultivation. According to the Eastern Wasteland Bell, it contained the blessing of the great experts that had created it. It was such a precious item that even back in that era, it could be a sect's foundation. Later, Long Chen had spent countless resources on it to allow it to slowly recover in accordance with the method the Eastern Wasteland Bell had told him. In the Foundation Forging Realm, it not only allowed people to cultivate faster and granted them a closer connection to heavenly Dao energy, but it also let a person build a flawless immortal platform. 
that was its strongest point. Long Chen gathered all the disciples, but he left a dozen of them to guard the entrance. This was one of Long Chen's secrets that no one else could learn about. Even in a private land like Crouching Dragon Mountain, caution was required. When the immemorial altar lamp soft light landed on their bodies, all the disciples felt as if they had become transparent, and if the world was one with them, there was no longer any separation. They all felt like a drop of water that had landed in the sea. It was like this entire world was blessing them. They quickly took out their Yuan spirit stones and started absorbing their energy. The endless energy coming from the Yuan spirit stones went directly to their original runes under the blessing of the immemorial altar lamp. Chapter 1131 Terrifying Consumption Translator Born to be under the illumination of the immemorial altar lamp, faint ripples enveloped them and they sank into a strange state. This blessing delighted Long Chen. Although the immemorial altar lamp's blessing was not as monstrous as the Zhuanshan Tower's blessing, its energy continued in an unending stream. It had definitely been worthwhile nourishing it. As long as the immemorial altar lamp wasn't contaminated with the death key of living organisms, it would never extinguish, allowing them to enjoy this blessing for as long as they desired. Long Chen also took out Yuan spirit stones and began to absorb their energy. For others, absorbing one stone took three days normally, but with the immemorial altar lamp, that time was cut down to half a day. As for Long Chen, he fully absorbed all the energy in a Yuan spirit stone in just a few breaths. As he absorbed more and more Yuan spiritual energy, he had an urge to cry. His 108,000 runes were like hungry wolves fighting over a small piece of meat. It felt like each wolf got less than a trace of meat, making them howl in frustration. As for the other disciples, Long Chen could clearly feel their original runes growing as they absorbed the Yuan spiritual energy. Others only had one original rune, while he had 108,000. Although his runes didn't have as much energy as each of theirs in a one-to-one -one ratio, ten of his runes definitely contained more energy than one of theirs. Even counting in a ten-to-one ratio, his consumption was still ten thousand times greater. That made him feel a sense of crisis. In the cultivation world, the most terrifying thing was not having powerful enemies, but a lack of funds. He sensed the other's progress and found that they condensed a second original rune in just three Yuan spirit stones. For them to condense all nine original runes and merge them into the foundation of their immortal platform would probably require around 50 Yuan spirit stones. Then they would be at the first Haven stage of foundation forging. Theoretically, the second Haven stage's runes would require twice the amount of energy of the first Haven stage. Then that would be 100. And then the third Haven stage would be 200. Then for the ninth Haven stage, each disciple would require over 10,000 Yuan spirit stones. 10,000 Yuan spirit stones and that was a conservative estimate. It would most likely take even more than that. Right now there were 13,500 members of the Dragonblood Legion. The number of Yuan spirit stones he had was not close to enough to allow all of them to reach the peak of foundation forging. But what was worse was that even after absorbing a thousand stones for just his first rune, there was still practically no growth. Long Chen steeled himself and spent a whole day. After absorbing 36,000 Yuan spirit stones, he condensed his second rune. When he was finished, he found that his two runes were like conjoined twins. They were not separate entities, but one whole body. When the second rune was condensed, he clearly felt his 108,000 acupuncture points enlarge, and even the divine runes of Split the Heavens grew larger, as if their limit had increased. Could it be that the size of Split the Heavens divine runes are in accordance with the size of the acupuncture points? So then the larger my acupuncture points, the stronger they'll get. Long Chen was quite surprised. Split the Heavens Divine Runes had originally been at the center of his corresponding acupuncture points, but after reaching Foundation Forging, those runes had been squeezed below. While his original runes took that position, they seemed to be afraid of his original runes and resigned themselves to staying beneath them. As for his original runes, they ignored Split the Heavens Divine Runes. They both minded their own business. With the formation of his second original rune, his acupuncture points grew and split the heavens divine runes grew with them. But even after strengthening, they stayed in their original position, not daring to move in the face of his original runes. However, this consumption was too terrifying. Just on his own, his consumption could almost match the whole Dragonblood Legions. When he saw that the Dragonblood Legions disciples had already condensed their third rune, he received a large blow and decided to go into private seclusion. When he absorbed Yuan spirit stones, the immemorial altar lamp wasn't able to help much. 
The Nine Star Hegemon body art was already strong enough to almost instantly suck the Yuan spirit stones dry. Returning to his room, he first refined a mountain of medicinal pills and elixirs for selling in the outer sect. These medicines were all ones that were used often, and so their price was cheaper. The outer sect disciples were big fans of them. As for himself, he had the primal chaos space, and refining these medicines didn't take any capital from him. However much they were sold for was how much money they made. Kyan Duaduo had told him several times that if they increased the price so that they sold at 80% the price of what the 10,000 pill hall sold their medicines for, there would still be countless people buying their products, and they would make several times the profit. That was because Kyan Duaduo was still under the impression that Long Chen was secretly buying all his ingredients from outside. He felt they weren't making enough. Although they sold a huge amount, their profit had to be limited. But Long Chen declined because this was how business was done. If you wanted to lower the price, there'd be no problem. But if you increased the price, no matter what reason you gave, it would cause some people to be dissatisfied. That would influence the overall mood of the buyers. In any case, his medicinal pills were all obtained for free, so continuing to sell like this was fine. At the same time, he also prepared enough medicines for Menki's food balls. Menki had already issued missions to gather some resources. That way they could save some money, while also giving their money to the outer sect's disciples. As for the remaining portion, they had no choice but to buy them themselves. Although the 10,000 pill hall was enemies with Long Chen, they didn't dare to make things too hard on Men Ki. Therefore, they managed to buy what they needed. Men Ki spent each day playing with Cloud. When a magical beast was just born was the best time to accompany and play with it, as that was the best way to form mutual trust and bonds. At the same time, Menki needed to keep a constant watch over Cloud and adjust things. If she felt any aspects of it were imbalanced, she would prepare some special food. She had to make up for its innate deficiency, and the best time to do so was while it was still young. With everything settled, Long Chen got to work on condensing his third original rune. As a result, his expression immediately darkened. The third original rune took 40,000 yuan spirit stones. He felt like he was about to go crazy. For others, Condensing the original runes on the same level would take the same energy. It was just condensing them all in the end that would take some more energy. But he had spent 4,000 more Yuan spirit stones condensing the third original rune versus the second. When he condensed the fourth one, it took 45,000 Yuan spirit stones. He really did feel crazy now. This was essentially a bottomless pit. Each original rune was costing him more and more. After three days, Long Chen's face was as dark as the bottom of a pot. That was because after condensing nine original runes, he had actually condensed a tenth. For the first nine, he had spent 630,000 yuan spirit stones. But on the tenth one, he suddenly needed 1,200,000 yuan spirit stones. On the fifth day, he condensed an eleventh original rune after spending 2,400,000 yuan spirit stones. On the tenth day, he condensed a twelfth original rune costing him 4,800,000 yuan spirit stones. On the 20th day, a 13th original rune appeared, and 9,600,000 yuan spirit stones turned to dust. What am I supposed to do? Long Chen let out a crazy roar. He hadn't even condensed the foundation of his immortal platform. Just condensing these 13 original runes had taken 18 million yuan spirit stones. Anyone would probably go crazy. I refuse to believe this. You're after all my money aren't you? Raged Long Chen. Fine, let's play then. If you have gods, just try taking all my Yuan spirit stones. Long Chen clenched his teeth and continued absorbing Yuan spirit stones. After 13 original runes, he didn't condense another one. Instead, they began to compress. As he constantly poured in more Yuan spiritual energy, his 13 original runes, which were like 13 babies holding hands, slowly merged. But this process was incredibly slow. As they merged, they formed a circular foundation. This was the foundation of the immortal platform, and at the center of it was a strange design. It was a flower with 13 petals. As soon as the foundation formed, an explosive sound came from his body, and his aura soared out of his control. A pillar of light pierced the roof of his residence and into the sky. All the surrounding clouds were blown away, and then Long Chen's residence collapsed on itself, turning to rubble. All of Crouching Dragon Mountain was shaken. Chapter 1132 First Havenstage of Foundation Forging Translator Born to be the disturbance at Long Chen's residence instantly drew over all the Dragonblood Legion. 
Long Chen waved his hand to tell them that he was fine. What power? Long Chen looked inside himself and saw that he now had the foundation of his immortal platform in all his 108,000 acupuncture points. The foundation didn't move, but the flower design at the center slowly spun. As the 13 flower petals revolved, a kind of Dao charm exuded out of them. It was as if the way they moved was its own law with boundless profundities. As they revolved, energy was pulled out of the air and into the foundation, nourishing it. It can actually absorb you on spiritual energy out of the air on its own. And this speed, it's almost as fast as when the dragon blood warriors absorb energy from Yuan spirit stones. Long Chen was absolutely shocked. A single Yuan spirit stone contained about as much energy as a cultivator could gain by cultivating normally over several months or even a year. That was why Yuan spirit stones were so precious. Now Long Chen didn't even have to do anything, but he could naturally extract Yuan spiritual energy from the world. With a thought, the flower designs began to revolve faster, and energy began to rush toward him from all directions. The speed has increased by 10 times. Unfortunately, it's still not enough. Long Chen sensed it for a while and then shook his head. This cultivation speed would be enough to frighten others to death, but it was far from enough for his abnormal needs. Even if he cultivated like this, it didn't have much meaning. It would take him a few months before he could condense a new rune. As for 13 runes, it would take a few years or even decades. That kind of cultivation method didn't have the slightest meaning to him. To spend 10 years to advance one heaven stage was an absolute joke. But in any case, he had at least reached the first heaven stage. But the cost to reach this level was definitely unacceptable to him. He had first spent 18 million yuan spirit stones on the 13 original runes. And now he had spent 22 million yuan spirit stones to condense them into a platform. In total. It had taken him 40 million yuan spirit stones, which was not something he could afford to continue. He suspected that the nine-star hegemon body arts foundation forging process was not meant to be done using yuan spirit stones. If just the first havenstage cost 40 million yuan spirit stones, what about the rest of the 13 havenstages? Furthermore, after the 10th havenstage, the difficulty would multiply. He even suspected that even if the entire Martial Heaven Continent's Yuan Spirit Stones were to be given to him, he wouldn't be able to reach the Jade Core Realm. But for sure, the Zhuanshan Dao Sect's Yuan Spirit Beads and Stones would be insufficient for his needs. So he wouldn't ask the Zuan Master to split half the sect's limited resources with him when it wouldn't help much. This is no good. There has to be another way. Does the problem lie with the fifth star? Wondered Long Chen. However, he had no way to get the fifth star's pill formula if it didn't appear on its own. Just being panicked had no use. He had to continue as he was. But for now, he didn't use any more Yuan spirit stones. He couldn't hold back the entire dragon blood legion just to strengthen himself. Long Chen let out a punch. He felt his strength had greatly increased once more. Even his punch was faster. And his spiritual Yuan circulated throughout his body without the slightest sluggishness. Lightning finger. Long Chen pointed a finger, and a lightning arrow shot out with a sharp whistling sound. It pierced into the air. The speed has increased. It practically comes out as soon as I will it. This is the true meaning of instantaneous. Long Chen smiled. Meteor rain of arrows. Raging flame prison. Raging flames devour the heavens. Long Chen repeatedly formed hand seals, and the 108,000 immortal platforms in his body seemed to connect. Just as he formed a hand seal, he felt his acupuncture points which needed to be slowly connected through various hand seals, instantly link up, and he unleashed his magical art in practically an instant. Nice. These 40 million yuan spirit stones weren't wasted. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised by this. As he tested it out, he found that his magical arts, which would have required half a breath's time to activate previously, could now be activated almost instantly. That delighted him. Defeating enemies didn't depend on how strong your moves were but on whether or not you could unleash them instantly so your opponent couldn't defend or dodge. In truth, big moves weren't that useful. No matter how strong it was, your opponent wouldn't give you time to use it. You would be slowly ground down from your opponent's smaller magical arts. Such occurrences were a common sight in the cultivation world. Although big moves were powerful and could kill hordes of people, and they were addicting and badass, the chances of actually pulling them off were low. Unless your opponent was also unleashing a big move because they were confident in using it to kill you, they would never give you a chance. Starfall. Long Chen condensed a foot-long sphere in his hand, and space began to wildly twist. He hastily dissipated it. Even Starfall could be unleashed much quicker. 
When he had first learned it, it had taken three breaths time to use. Later, he had cut it down to one breath. Now, it was just a third of a breath. Not only had the cast time shortened, but just this simple test had unleashed greater power than when he had used it against Hans Henayu. And this was a far cry from his current limit. Previously, he hadn't been able to use Starfall to its full power because his physical body hadn't been able to bear it. Now that he had reached the first Havenstage and had condensed his immortal platform, Starfall's power had risen greatly. All right, I admit I'm not that regretful about the money. Long Chen couldn't help but feel like his previous grief had been a bit embarrassing. Just as he was sighing emotionally, a figure suddenly charged at him, causing him to jump. It was the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. It had already grown to 30 meters in length, and some white feathers were growing out of it. It was incredibly fast as it rushed to Long Chen. It reached him in the blink of an eye and began to rub its head on him. Wow, you grew fast. Long Chen hadn't expected Cloud to treat him so intimately. Of course, I fed it only the best, and I told it that all that good feed was the result of your bitter labor. That's why Cloud's very grateful to you. Men Ki smiled. Ha ha ha, a man should naturally feed his family. How are you? Cloud. Long Chen rubbed its head. Cloud knelt on the ground and enjoyed his caressing. Everything's going well. Originally, Cloud would have grown even faster, but I controlled its growth. After all, its innate deficiency means taking some more time growing will be beneficial. It'll give me more time to see problems and fix them, said Men Ki. Yes, be careful of mistakes. Just keep things steady. Long Chen approved of this. There wasn't that much danger right now, so there was no need to push things. Cloud let out a few chirping sounds. Long Chen said, something about meat, and something about hunting. With his powerful spiritual strength, he could understand the general meaning, but it wasn't very clear. Men Ki laughed, it's saying that I've refused to bring it out hunting. It wants to eat fresh meat. To put it more simply, it's gluttonous. She turned to Cloud. I told you, you can't eat raw meat in your current state. It'll make you grow too explosively and make your foundation unsteady. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was an ancient species. Their swallowing ability was innate, and they needed the energy of flesh and blood to grow. Wild can probably form a team with Cloud in the future, joked Long Chen. Wild was about the same. No matter how much he ate, he wouldn't get full. Wild had even told him a few days ago that his rations were running out and he needed to go hunting. Men Ki, you can issue some missions to the outer sect to gather some magical beast corpses at the 6th rank and below. 6th rank magical beast's flesh should be weak enough that Cloud won't suddenly grow, but it can at least relieve some hunger. Otherwise, eating balls of medicine all day will make it want to vomit, said Long Chen. Hearing this, Cloud immediately started cheering. Men Ki was speechless, but thinking about it, this was a good idea. There were far too many high-ranking magical beasts in the central plains. Finding some that were at the 6th rank and below would probably mean going out and searching far away. However, the outer sect's disciples often went out to accomplish missions, so they should be familiar with this. If they issued this mission, it should be very effective. Long Chen, how are you only at the first heaven stage? Men Ki suddenly looked at Long Chen curiously. Long Chen was stunned, feeling so ashamed that he might die. Men Ki had already reached the third heaven stage, and that made him feel helpless and bitter. It's a long story, and it's depressing. Are the others also at the same cultivation base as you? Asked Long Chen. At this point, the majority has reached the third heaven stage. There's about a third still in the second heaven stage, but they'll quickly reach the third, said Men Ki. That was because they were all absorbing energy from Yuan spirit stones. Although their talent could affect how quickly they absorbed that energy, it wouldn't be a huge difference. So all of their speeds were about the same. In at most three days, the remaining disciples would reach the third heaven stage. Suddenly, the sound of a bell resounded throughout the Zhuanshan Dao sect Long Chen was startled. What's going on? Is a core disciple issuing a life and death challenge? But, other than me, who else has the gods? Was it Sumo? You fool, that's not the bell for a life and death battle. The tone is completely different. It's the bell to gather, so we have to go. We can call over the people in seclusion on the way, said Men Ki. She put away Cloud and took off with Long Chen. Chapter 1133 Silent Slap Translator Born to be what's going on? Why did they suddenly summon everyone? Is the infernal devil abyss acting up again? Haha, <laughs> that would be great. It just so happens I'm lacking a few points. I was worried about how to get some more. All the intersect disciples were gathered. 
They were discussing all kinds of theories, but a scene that made them sluggish appeared. That was the scene of the outer sect disciples flooding into the inner sect plaza, seeing millions of them appear. They were all surprised. What's going on? Even outer sect disciples have to participate in the battle? Are the devil beasts so fierce this time? Everyone's expressions changed. Following that, the elders also appeared, and not just a few. All of them came, including all the department heads, the alchemy pavilion master, law enforcement hall master, sect protecting pavilion master, etc. They all came at the same time except for Liu Kang. At this moment, three more people arrived at the front. First was the Zuan master, and behind him was a strict-looking dark-faced elder. He was the tower department head that practically all members of the sect feared. The third person was Liu Kang. Right now, there was a ball of light floating behind his head that looked like a twinkling star. Seeing that ball of light, all people on the level of Hall Masters let out started cries. Luo Fan and the Alchemy Pavilion Master's expression sank as they were filled with fury and envy. Today, everyone was gathered because of a momentous event. Elder Liu Kang has advanced to the Life Star Realm, raising the power of the Zhuanchen Dao sect to a new level. Starting today, Liu Kang is no longer the Hall Master of the Elder Hall, but the Zhuanchen Dao sect's Vice Zuan Master, said the Zuan Master. Congratulations, Vice Zuan Master Liu Kang. Congratulations rang out from the Hall Masters. In the Zhuanchen Dao sect, Liu Kang was known as a person of virtue and prestige, and he had good relationships with most people. He immediately thanked his old colleagues, but the Alchemy Pavilion Master and Luo Fan's expressions were ugly, especially Luo Fan's. It looked like he had just lost his father. The Zuan Master continued, Starting today, the Zhuanchen Dao sect will hold a three-day celebration. Inner sect disciples will receive 10,000 points. Outer sect disciples will receive a thousand points, and workers will receive 100 points as a reward. Cheering immediately burst out. 10,000 points might not be much for inner sect disciples, but for outer sect disciples, thousand points was 10 years of work. And to workers, this reward was absolutely enormous. It was a number they would never imagine obtaining. Other than that, the Dao sect's fine wine will be distributed for free, and disciples on duty will obtain 10 times the pay. Go back and celebrate. The Zuan Master's words caused all the disciples to cheer excitedly. They returned to their homes, waiting to get their points. Amongst the senior inner sect disciples, Sumo and Mu Kingsuan were delighted, while Gao Zian Yang's expression was not so good. This sudden promotion was completely unexpected. Long Chen, you stay behind. Seeing Long Chen following the crowd, the Zuan Master suddenly called out to him. Now, there were no longer any other disciples present. Long Chen appeared especially conspicuous in the midst of these elders. Long Chen, your position is special, and you're also one of the Elder Hall's people. Now that Liu Kang has become the Vice Zuan Master, the Elder Hall needs a new manager. You can participate in this discussion, said the Zuan Master. Clearly, Long Chen was already being treated as a figure on the level of an elder. With his power, he truly had the qualifications. Right now, the Elder Hall Master's position is empty and we need began the Zuan Master. Zuan Master, picking a person isn't urgent. First, disciple has something he is unconvinced by, interrupted Luo Fan. Luo Fan, you grow more and more insensible. Have you forgotten how to behave? Before the Zuan Master could speak, the tower department head shouted over him. The tower department head was exceptionally imposing. His face was dark, while his eyes were electric. He was frightening, and his words caused even Long Chen to shiver. Luo Fan trembled. He wasn't afraid of the Zuan Master, but he was afraid of the strict tower department head. He was an exceptionally strict person. Once, he had even roared at the Zuan Master in front of everyone. Luo Fan dared to interrupt the Zuan Master's words because he was used to it. The Zuan Master's temper was very good and he rarely got angry. But if the tower department head was infuriated, no one would be able to bear it. Disciple knows his wrong. Luo Fan hastily bowed. Tower department head. Don't be so serious. It's just a minor matter. What's the point of being so angry and putting people on the spot? The Zuan Master smiled. Rules are rules, and people can't step out of line. Without rules, how are things supposed to be kept on track? As the Zuan Master, you indulge them, while they, the tower department head immediately started to criticize the Zuan Master. Seeing the tower department head's strict appearance, Long Chen couldn't help but think of King Yu. The two of them were both inflexible serious people, but King Yu was beautiful, and being scolded by her allowed one to appreciate her beauty, 
If her beautiful face was replaced with the tower department heads, he would have a psychotic break. What? Do you have some opinion? Just as Long Chen was laughing inside, the tower department head's icy gaze landed on him. It was like a pair of sharp blades were pointing at him, and he felt like all his thoughts were seen through. Cough. Disciple doesn't dare, said Long Chen. Doesn't dare? Is there anything you don't dare to do? And by saying you don't dare, does that mean you disagree but won't say? Demanded the tower department head. He clearly was intent on teaching Long Chen a lesson to avoid him being insufferably arrogant in the future. Cough. I think we should get back to the main topic. Luo Fan. What did you want to say just now? The Zuan master hastily changed the subject upon seeing this. He truly understood the two of them well. One was completely inflexible, while one was incredibly daring. Once they started fighting, it would be troublesome. Hearing this, Luo Fan looked at Liu Kang with intense envy and fury. Disciple is simply unconvinced. Amongst all masters, Liu Kang's seniority is only middling. Why did the life star bead not go to the one with the greatest experience? Pavilion Master Xiao. And when it comes to contributions, I've worked for the law enforcement hall for so many years. How many things have I done for the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Not only do I handle my direct duties, but I've even raised disciples that have been the strongest of their generation consecutively. That means the law enforcement hall's contributions have been greater than the elder halls. When you told us that you would quickly use the life star beat after beating Ma Zingkong in his gamble, we all thought you would bestow it based on merit to the best person. All of us were waiting with anticipation, but you, you privately gave the life star bead to Liu Kang. Aren't you worried about the hearts of the other disciples? I'd like the tower department head to judge the right and wrong, cried Luo Fan. Disciple agrees. Please give us an explanation. The alchemy pavilion master also spoke, standing on the same battle line as Luo Fan. Everyone was silent for a moment. The law enforcement hall master and alchemy pavilion master were expressing their displeasure with the Zuan master's actions. Long Chen's eyes started back and forth. He looked at the Zuan master, and then the furious Luo Fan and alchemy pavilion master. He basically knew what was happening. Zuan master, what do you say? The tower department head did not know about this matter. This matter was not done by me, but by Long Chen. The Zuan master shrugged. What? Everyone was startled. Such a huge matter had been done by Long Chen? How had Long Chen been the decision maker here? This time, the heaven-suppressing magic sect came in order to suppress the Dao sect's drive, and it was Long Chen who reversed the tide, winning back all the chips we had lost in previous years. Furthermore, he had me increase the wager during the battle, which is the only reason it was possible to bait Ma Zingkong to bring out his life star bead. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, let alone winning a life star bead or getting our chips back, we would have lost even more resources, and even been humiliated. That's why I gave the life star bead to Long Chen as a reward. Tower department head, you don't have any objection to this, right? Said the Zuan master. Of course, rewards and punishments must be clear. Long Chen won an honor for the Zuanshan Dao sect, so of course he must be rewarded, said the tower department head. Long Chen, when I gave it to you, what did you say? Asked the Zuan master. For such a simple play, if Long Chen couldn't understand, he really would be an idiot. He respectfully said, I said this life star bead was too precious, and it would be a waste to use it on me. So I asked for this reward to be given to the Elder Hall Master as thanks for his patronage. Did you hear that? This life star bead was something I rewarded Long Chen, and who he gives it to has nothing to do with me. Now do you understand? The Zuan Master looked at Luo Fan and the Alchemy Pavilion Master. The two of them immediately turned purple. What was Long Chen's could be given to whoever he wanted, but he definitely wouldn't give it to them. Now, all the elders were looking at them oddly. They had an urge to bury their heads beneath their legs, as this was too embarrassing. They had actually gone so far as to question the Zuan master and put on such an expression of righteous indignation. Now they had once more been slapped in the face, very resoundingly, and with their own hands at that, their embarrassment had maxed out. At the same time, their hatred for Long Chen also reached a peak. Everyone went their own way in this awkward atmosphere. Long Chen knew that this had all been arranged by the Zuan Master. It was just that he didn't know what the Zuan Master was hoping to accomplish from this. Three days after Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain, an explosion suddenly rocked the Zuanshan Dao sect, and countless alarm bells began to ring. Chapter 1134 The Alchemy Pavilion's Explosion Translator Born to be the Zuanshan Dao sect's grand formation was activated. 
surrounding the entire sect countless disciples looked around in panic, not knowing what was happening. Everyone, don't panic. Something happened in the alchemy pavilion. Don't make any random movements. The shouts of hall masters rang out over the crowd. The alchemy pavilion was situated on a huge mountain hundreds of miles wide. The many grand buildings that had dotted the landscape were gone, replaced by a large hole. The other disciples were ordered not to move, but Long Chen was not one of them. He rushed over to get a better look. Seeing the destroyed alchemy pavilion, his eyes were cold. The Zuan master, tower department head, and Liu Kang also arrived. All the higher-ups were present. The Zuan master's normally indifferent and leisurely expression was now frighteningly dark. Xiao Changting, tell me, what happened? The Zuan master stared coldly at the alchemy pavilion master. Even killing intent had started to leak out of him. The alchemy pavilion was the Zuan Chindeo sect's foundation. There were hundreds of alchemists inside and over a thousand disciples. This terrifying explosion had killed at least half the alchemists, and the majority of the rest were heavily injured. The healing hall was currently rescuing them. It was disciples' negligence. There were two disciples who took out earth flame seeds, and as a result, I don't know what happened, but those two earth flame seeds suddenly began to rebel. They exploded, and that caused the other earth flame seeds to explode with them said the alchemy pavilion master with alarm. Long Chen had run over to the core region, and the aura of earth flames was still present. He cursed inside. Instead of giving them to him, they had been wasted like this. The power of an earth flame seed's explosion was extremely terrifying, especially when it exploded underground. Furthermore, there had been multiple earth flame seeds exploding. There was no need to doubt how much destructive power such an explosion possessed. Long Chen picked up a piece of a broken bottle. This was clearly an item used to store an earth flame seed. The aura of the earth flame it had once contained was still present. Earth flame seeds couldn't be stored with metal instruments. That would cause it to feel an innate hostility, and it would instinctively attack the metal. Not only would that destroy the instrument, but the earth flame would also escape. And even if that didn't happen, it would exhaust the earth flame seeds energy until it dissipated. That was why earth flame seeds were stored in special bottles with formations present. That was the only way to keep them obedient. It would be like they were sleeping inside. Although it was just a bottle, it wasn't like a normal bottle. It was just the opposite. The cultivation world's bottles were made of material stronger than steel, making them extremely sturdy. Picking up a fist-sized piece, he sniffed it. The alchemy pavilion master was infuriated to see Long Chen's actions, but he was also a bit panicked. You really are vicious. You actually applied everlasting frost third powder to the bottle. It corroded the bottle and spread a layer of ice energy imperceptible to the naked eye. When an alchemist touches it, the ice energy will provoke their pill flame, causing the bottle to instantly shatter. Thereafter, the ice energy on the bottle will attack the earth flame seed inside. An unintelligent earth flame seed will then naturally explode, and that will cause the others to explode as well. Tell me pavilion master, were the disciples you sent to take out the earth flame seeds your most outstanding disciples? Long Chen sighed. The alchemy pavilion master raged. Long Chen, don't slander others or make up random guesses. This was just an accident. Long Chen looked at him sympathetically. The Zuan master's words were absolutely true. The cultivation world's people cared too much about power and didn't know how to use their heads. Long Chen raised the fragment. The everlasting frost third powder is a medicinal ingredient, but it is also used in forging items. I'm sure the majority of the forging disciples would recognize it. Should we have a forging master look? There's no need. There truly is everlasting frost third powder on it. It's clear with just a look. It expels ice key used in forging for cooling. But when it encounters flames, especially powerful flames, the ice key will be locked within the weapon. It's one of the most elementary methods for creating ice attribute weapons. I would be willing to bet my own head that everlasting frost third powder has been applied to this bottle fragment, said a muscular but short elder. Hearing that, Everyone's expressions changed. The one who had just spoken was the forging pavilion master. He definitely wouldn't randomly spout nonsense. Xiao Changting, don't you think you should give me an explanation? Demanded the Zuan master coldly. Zuan master, I have no idea about this. Someone's definitely framing me. I cried the alchemy pavilion master. That's fine. Such a minor thing is very simple. The Zuan master waved his hand. And space twisted. A huge mirror appeared in the air. When the alchemy pavilion master saw this mirror, he immediately turned as pale as paper. The mirror lit up and shined its light on the ruins. Figures flashed back and forth until finally, 
a burst of flames erupted from the center of the ruins. Long Chen was startled. The scene he was seeing was what had happened just after the alchemy pavilion had exploded. The reincarnation mirror was actually reversing time to replay what had happened. But this scene was just too lifelike, making it extremely shocking. Very quickly, they arrived in a scene where the flames retreated to the bottles and two disciples left an underground treasure house. Because everything was going backward, things looked odd. Following this, a black-robed man appeared in the treasure house. The figure was smearing some transparent liquid onto the bottles of the earth flame seeds. The scene continued going backward until they saw the alchemy pavilion master speaking with an elder. The scene came to a sudden stop. All they saw of that elder was his back. He was very thin and a complete stranger. The Zuan master recalled the reincarnation mirror and turned to the alchemy pavilion master. Xiao Changting, I don't know if you've lost your mind with age. But how stupid do you have to be to actually forget the ability of the Zuanshan Dao sect's divine items? Speak. Why did you destroy my alchemy pavilion? Within the crowd, Luo Fan was also looking at the alchemy pavilion master with shock. His relations with him were good, but he hadn't expected him to be this crazy. HMPH. There's nothing to say. I have no idea about any of this. Someone is clearly framing me. Furthermore, although I am a pavilion master of the Zuanshan Dao sect, I am also an honorable guest of Pill Valley. You have no authority over me. I will report this matter back to Pill Valley, and they will naturally testify to my innocence. The alchemy pavilion master suddenly became unyielding, and he smiled coldly at the Zuan master. Pill Valley? Long Chen suddenly recalled a figure he had seen for just a flash before it disappeared. He narrowed his eyes. It seemed the reason behind this incident was quite complicated. Did you think Pill Valley would be your protective talisman? You're wrong. Even if you are a member of Pill Valley, anyone who would destroy an important place of the Zuanshan Dao sect like the Alchemy Pavilion and kill my disciples will find it difficult to escape their death. The Zuan Master sent out a palm. Heaven and Earth shook fiercely. It was like this palm filled the entire world. Long Chen didn't even see it land before the Alchemy Pavilion Master exploded into bits. Not even his soul managed to escape. After killing the Alchemy Pavilion Master with a single palm, the Zuan master looked at the ruins for a moment and then left without a word, his expression frighteningly dark. He was clearly furious. Liu Kang stayed behind, arranging for people to clean up. After all, there was a storehouse of medicinal pills below. He was trying to see if he could save any, but he was disappointed to find that the pills that should have been in the storehouse were all gone. The alchemy pavilion master's spatial ring was also gone. Their savings of hundreds of years had vanished just like this. That made everyone's expressions change. The alchemy pavilion master had truly been vicious to secretly destroy all the medicinal pills. They now realized why the Zuan master was so furious. Medicinal pills were the foundation of any sect in the cultivation world. Now that the alchemy pavilion was destroyed and their stock was gone, the few medicinal pills stored in the 10,000 pill hall for sale would only be able to last an enormous existence like the Dao sect for one or two months. Luo Fan left with a gloomy expression. The alchemy pavilion master had been executed on the spot by the Zuan master, causing him to feel sympathetic. When he had first gone against the elder hall, he had formed an alliance with the alchemy pavilion. Now Liu Kang was vice Zuan master, and he was alone. His enemy was an existence he could only look up to, while his ally had to have gone crazy and had destroyed the foundation of the Zuanshan Dao sect for seemingly no reason. Now that the alchemy pavilion was destroyed, the Zuanshan Dao sect was in a state of extreme crisis. The supply of medicinal pills was about to become a fatal issue that would very likely lead to the sect's complete collapse. Looking at Luo Fan's parting figure, Long Chen was lost in thought. This had come so suddenly that he almost couldn't react. He still felt this matter was queer. Right now, Liu Kang was having people tidy up and search the remnants of the alchemy pavilion to see if they could find anything valuable. However, other than a few pieces of equipment for refining pills, there was nothing else of value that remained. Not good. Bisect Master, our medicinal fields, they've been destroyed as well. Thousands of miles of medicinal fields are barren. What? Everyone furiously flew to the medicinal fields. When they arrived, they saw that the originally flourishing fields had been picked clean. The land had been scorched, and all the precious medicines had been turned to ash. That bastard Xiao Changting. The Zuan master really let him off too easily by killing him. Everyone was filled with fury. Liu Kang had a worried expression. The alchemy pavilion had been destroyed, and so had their medicinal pills. From now on, the Zuanshan Dao sect would have to buy large quantities of pills from outside. 
but the Zhuangshan Dao sect wasn't rich, and things had been hard-pressed in recent years. This blow from the Alchemy Pavilion Master would very likely be a fatal one for the Zhuangshan Dao sect three days after the Alchemy Pavilion Master was killed. A group of people wearing Pill Valley's robes arrived at the Zhuangshan Dao sect chapter 1135 Scram Translator. Born to be Zhuangshan Dao sect, why would you kill my Pill Valley's honored guest elder? If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation, just wait for Pill Valley's sanctions. There were dozens of red-robed elders standing in front of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's mountain gate. All of them had the image of a pill furnace embroidered on their chests. These people came from Pill Valley. The alchemy pavilion master had been one of their members. He could be likened to one of Pill Valley's external elders, one of their outside workers. On the Martial Heaven continent, 99% of all alchemists were related to Pill Valley in some way. If they weren't direct disciples of Pill Valley, they were still under Pill Valley's name. One reason was because this status was grander, while the other reason was that this status would allow them to receive Pill Valley's protection in times of trouble. The Alchemy Pavilion Master had only dared to do what he had done because of his status as part of Pill Valley. According to reason, if he had truly committed such a grave crime, the Zhuangshan Dao sect should have first alerted Pill Valley. With his status, he couldn't be killed just because they wanted to kill him. And so Pill Valley's people had come for an explanation. Seeing this, Long Chen sank into thought. It seemed this matter was growing more and more complicated. Scram. In front of these tyrannical experts from Pill Valley, the Zuan master's reply was just a single word. It was curt and sharp, clearly expressing his attitude. Those Pill Valley experts were all infuriated. They represented Pill Valley, but they had been told to scram? Their leader shouted, How brazen! Do you realize what you're doing? Suddenly, the Zhuangshan Tower located at the center of the sect lit up with blazing light, and a terrifying pressure descended. I'll give you to the count of three. Scram or die. Choose for yourself. The Zuan Master's icy voice rang out once more. Fine. Then let's wait and see. I hope your Zhuangshan Dao sect can stay so obstinate to the end. Don't come crawling on your knees to my Pill Valley. With a final roar, the Pill Valley experts left. All the elders were worried. The usually refined and patient Zuan master had actually become this coarse. He even completely offended Pill Valley. With their alchemy pavilion and medicinal fields destroyed, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would quickly reach the point of despair. Long Chen, come to my room. Just as Long Chen was watching Pill Valley's experts leave, the Zuan master's voice rang out in his head. When he arrived, he was surprised to see that the Zuan master's expression was very relaxed. He was leisurely steeping some tea. What? Is my expression different from what you imagined? The Zuan master smiled. Cough. Maybe a bit. Long Chen sat beside the tea table. He saw the tea had just finished steeping and was about to pour some. But the Zuan master beat him to it, pouring tea into Long Chen's cup. At this time, the Zuan master didn't have any bit of a sect leader's imposing dignity. Instead, he seemed like an ordinary elder. Do you have many questions? The Zuan master pushed the tea cup in front of Long Chen. Long Chen hastily received it with both his hands. He nodded. Yes, but I'm afraid that once I ask, you'll once again say that it's not something I should know. Then I won't have any face and I'll feel like a foolish child. You are a baby barely into his twenties. Compared to us, you are naturally a child. You're still in the process of learning how to walk and accumulating experience. The more you fall, the more you learn. Some things can't be told to you because of karmic restrictions, and some things would not be the slightest bit beneficial to you if you learned them. Instead, they would rattle your Dao heart. But, as long as certain things are within the right scope, you can still learn them, said the Zuan master with a smile. Then disciple won't stand on courtesy. I want to know, what was that figure that only appeared for a flash in the scene that day? Was it someone from Pill Valley? The Zuan master laughed. Child, your eyes are sharp. I put it away so quickly, but you still noticed. Yes, that person is truly from Pill Valley. In fact, he's one of the people that came today. Then does that mean you are completely clear about everything that happened? Correct. Other than the tower department head, no one else knows this. But every action, every movement in the Zhuangshan Dao sect is under the surveillance of the reincarnation mirror. The only exception is you. Hearing that everyone was under the reincarnation mirror's supervision startled him. Then wouldn't that mean his secrets had been exposed? In truth, I'm quite curious about your secrets. I'd be interested in knowing what trump cards you have. But the reincarnation mirror was once injured because of you. And it doesn't dare to watch over you any longer as it is afraid of being infected by karma. 
the Zuan master helplessly shook his head. Back in the Eastern Wastelands Branch Sect's trial, Long Chen had suddenly encountered the soul of an expert from the corrupt path. It had helped him activate the future lake within the trial, which had allowed him to look at his origins. But only a few scenes had appeared before everything had vanished. In order to con the soul, he had then asked it to help him deduce the origin of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Future Lake was a projection of the reincarnation mirror. Deducing the origin of the Nine Star Hegemon body art had almost caused the reincarnation mirror to be permanently damaged. So as soon as he arrived in the Zuanshan Dao sect, the reincarnation mirror had noticed him, which was why the Zuan master and patriarch had immediately taken note of him. I am very clear on what happened with the alchemy pavilion. In fact, I intentionally allowed it. Xiao Changting was actually a chis piece that Pill Valley placed inside my Zuanshan Dao sect to keep watch over us. You don't need to find that strange. Pill Valley is far greater than you imagined. Although Pill Valley claims that it doesn't participate in the cultivation world struggles and is neutral, it actually secretly controls countless sects. That's because all the large sects are dependent on it. Although the Dao sect treated Xiao Changting well, his aspirations were too high. Even though this matter was a result of Pill Valley's decision as well, the original idea definitely didn't come from them. Disciple doesn't understand. Pill Valley has an outer valley and inner valley. The inner valley rarely gets involved in mundane matters. Instead, they focus on cultivation and researching the Pill Dao. But the outer valley is in charge of Pill Valley's regular operations and businesses. It is in charge of the Pill Towers that interact with the rest of the world. There are 480 Pill Towers in the Central Plains all of them in charge of the supply of medicinal pills in different regions. The group of people that just came are in charge of the pill tower in the region we are in, and their relationship with the heaven-suppressing magic sect is very good. Now do you understand? Explained the Zuan master. Now Long Chen understood. This matter had been done intentionally by pill tower because of their relationship with the heaven-suppressing magic sect. The alchemy pavilion master wished to become a true member of Pill Valley, which was a sacred land for alchemists. As long as the Pill Tower set up a few conditions and made a few promises, guaranteeing that the Zuan Master wouldn't do anything to him, the Alchemy Pavilion Master wouldn't possibly be able to resist their enticement. That was what had caused the Alchemy Pavilion to explode. But the Alchemy Pavilion Master hadn't thought that his protective talisman would be completely useless. The Zuan Master hadn't even given him a chance. Is the Pill Tower really so brazen? Isn't the Zuan Shindeo sect one of the three great heavenly sects? They dare to treat us like this, asked Long Chen. Yes, we are part of the three great heavenly sects, but the three great heavenly sects have long since declined. That saying is just a sign of our former glory. Now, there are other more powerful sects, and the three great sects are only a bit above middle level powers. We fell from the ranks of the top sects a long time ago. The most important thing is that the Pill Towers people know that no matter what, Pill Valley will protect them. Pill Valley's power is so great that as long as they declare you are black, you will never be white again. Furthermore, Xiao Changting's actions will cause us to be dependent on Pill Valley, so they wouldn't punish anyone. Instead, they would secretly reward the Pill Tower for this, said the Zuan Master indifferently. Then aren't we currently in a grave crisis? We entered a constant state of crisis a long time ago. The dangers you can see aren't fearsome. The worst danger is the one of the frog being boiled alive in a slowly heating pot of water. By the time you react, it would be too late. Now, the danger is crystal clear. That's not necessarily a bad thing. As for those people from the Pill Tower, they're trying to hit us while we're down. They want us to be completely under the banner of Pill Valley. Rather than that, having them directly scram will make the Dao sect's interior much cleaner and is even beneficial, said the Zuan Master. But our medicinal pills and medicinal fields foolish child. Since I could allow Xiao Changting to do this, how could I not have my own preparations? 400 years ago, I secretly created another alchemy region and recruited quite a few alchemists. Although it wasn't as much as the alchemy pavilion, there are enough stores of medicinal pills to last us a few years. The Zuan master involuntarily laughed. Long Chen also awkwardly laughed, but his laugh was a bit forced. Do you feel like I'm too cruel? Asked the Zuan master. Perhaps it just really is like you say. I'm not suited to be a ruler. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh emotionally. This matter had killed so many people. The Zuan master had clearly known that would happen, but he had still allowed it to occur. Although to a ruler, doing such a thing wasn't a problem. Long Chen still felt uncomfortable with it. He definitely wouldn't just watch as members of his dragon blood legion died. 
Not even one. There is no absolute right and wrong in this world. The only thing that matters is the final result. If there comes a day that you have to sacrifice a part of your dragon blood legion to save the majority, what would you do? The Zuan master looked at Long Chen. I wouldn't allow such a thing to happen. But what if it did happen? What would you choose? If you hesitate, it will only cause more people to die. If such a thing truly happened, I wouldn't sacrifice a part. I would bring everyone to die along with them. Hypothetical questions are all senseless things. Long Chen smiled. Completely calm. The Zuan master was startled. He hadn't thought about this answer. After a long moment, he sighed. Long Chen's style of handling things was too domineering, but compared to a soft approach, hard things snapped easier. Long Chen's character was lacking elasticity. All right, then let's talk about proper things. I'm preparing to send you to get a large sum of money, said the Zuan master. Chapter 1136 Two Large Powers Translator Born to be the next day after Long Chen left the Zuan master's room, all the inner sect disciples were gathered once more. This included the disciples from the senior generation. The announcement was that all inner sect disciples were to be sent to the Zuan Chendeo sect's defensive territory bordering the Eastern Sea. The new disciples were still puzzled, but the old disciples were delighted. The Eastern Sea referred to the part of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring that bordered the eastern part of the Martial Heaven continent. The Zuan Chendeo sect had a 4 million mile zone there that they were to defend. Other than the natural defenses, the places where the Sea Ring met the continent were all defended by the various large sects. They had all established defensive fortifications against sea demons. All sects with any fame were in charge of an area. The stronger the sect, the greater the area they would defend, and the greater the area, the more manpower they would need to spend on defending. However, there were also benefits. Taking the edges of their defensive regions and drawing straight lines until they reached the eastern wasteland, all the resources found within that region of the sea would go to the defender. The Martial Heaven Sea Ring not only had countless sea demons, but it was also filled with countless mineral deposits. There were many rare ores present in the sea, but due to the rampant sea demons, mining those ores was difficult. Without a certain amount of power, any sect attempting such a thing would pay a heavy price instead of making money. As for the region the Zuan Chendeo sect was in charge of, there were three rare ore deposits, as well as an artificial breeding zone where a few precious sea demons were being raised. This region was one of the pillars of the Zuan Chendeo sect each year. The sect would take in a large amount of wealth from this region. There was plenty of profit to be made here, even by disciples. The previous generation's disciples had not only gained a huge number of points for their work, but when they had time off, they could even go hunting in the sea. Any treasures they obtained would be theirs. It was the best opportunity to get rich. It could be said that other than the infernal devil abyss, this was the best place to get points. And there wasn't much danger there. You're not going for fun. According to the scouts, the sea's tide is starting to rise. And it's very likely that a huge beast tide will pour out of the sea not long from now. Your mission is to kill as many sea demons as possible before the beast tide comes. This is a rare opportunity. Although there aren't any points given for this. The corpses and cores of the sea demons you kill will be yours. However, I don't want to see people fighting each other because of money. This time, the leaders of the expedition will be Long Chen and Gao Xianyang. The two of them have different leadership styles, but their combat power is about the same. So you can all choose which side to join for yourselves. Once you choose, you won't be able to switch, and their orders must be executed regardless of any circumstances. Otherwise, the Elder Hall will decide the punishment said Liu Kang, the new vice Zuan master. Everyone was surprised to hear there would be two leaders. Clearly, the Dao sect was aware that the two of them couldn't work together. Forcing them to do so would only cause chaos. In other words, the factions were essentially dissolved. In the future, the Zuan Chen Dao sect would only have two factions. Either choose Long Chen's, or choose Gao Xianyang's. Stand behind whoever you choose. I'll give you 15 minutes. Choose well, said Liu Kang. The Heaven Female Alliance was the first to burst into cheers and run to the Dragonblood Legion's side. Who is Shiyu clenched her teeth in fury. You immoral girls. You're all thankless wretches. I can't believe I ever treated you so well. He doesn't even need to seduce you for you to go running to him. Haha, <laughs> big sister Shiyu. They're just excited. You're naturally the big sister we respect the most. Comforted Xiao Ziyan. She knew who is Shiyu's character. She was very obstinate. And she didn't like men. Even if she admired Long Chen, seeing all her people immediately run to his side naturally irritated her. 
causing her to feel betrayed. Xiao Ziyan pulled Hua Xiaoyu over and winked to Long Chen. He immediately understood. Fairy Xiaoyu, we'll be able to fight side by side again in the future. Control your army of fairies. I don't want to see my brothers run off because they were seduced. Laughed Long Chen. TCH, if you have any ability, just try seducing anyone. Hua Xiaoyu frowned. But Long Chen's words still caused her to relax greatly. His meaning was clear. The Heaven Female Alliance was still the Heaven Female Alliance. The Dragon Blood Legion wouldn't touch them. Although Hua Xiaoyu had also known that Long Chen wasn't such a person, she didn't like the feeling of having the power taken from her. Furthermore, she was still sensitive after her previous loss. She was even afraid that others would begin looking down on her. Although Xiao Ziyan had constantly comforted and encouraged her, and the other disciples had increased their care of her, she still didn't feel any sense of security. But Long Chen's words, although they also contained a somewhat provoking air, put her at ease. Boss, even Fairy Shiayu is telling you to try seducing one. Why don't you show off your pickup techniques for your brothers? Laughed Guo Ran. Long Chen was speechless. This fool was truly incurable. All the words he had said last time were forgotten now. Aya, Guo Ran's laughter came to a halt as he was kicked away by Tang Wan Er. Even after being beaten a hundred times, he didn't learn his lesson. Was he a pig? He only remembered eating but didn't remember being beaten. Long Chen acted like he didn't see anything. After kicking away Guo Ran, Tang Wan Er went over to welcome Hua Xiaoyu. The two of them had ended up particularly close. That was because last time, Tang Wan Er had been defeated while trying to get revenge for Hua Xiaoyu, and that one action made Hua Xiaoyu feel extremely grateful to her. Besides, their characters were both similarly fiery, so it had been easy for them to find common ground. Wang Zhen also led his 10,000 insect guild's disciples over. Long Chen patted him on the shoulder and didn't say anything. Wang Zhen wasn't too fond of words. Sometimes, a single action was enough to express everything. There was no need for so many words. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for members from the Hegemon Hall, Flame Gate, and Divine Beast Mansion to also come over. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, we admire you and want to follow you. Please take us said one of Flame Gate's disciples hopefully. TCH, if those words had come from a beauty, I'd be much happier. Coming from a man, I'll cough up what I ate last night. If you want to fight alongside me, then there's no need for such words. Nor do you need to say anything about devoting your heart to me. I'm sure you know what kind of person I am. So you can just come right over, said Long Chen. Everyone involuntarily laughed, but the laughter of the men was rather wretched. Long Chen's coarse method of speaking ended up making them feel closer. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Those disciples were delighted that Long Chen would accept them even after they had once been enemies. They hadn't wanted to be enemies, but their three leaders had wanted to fight against him, so they had had no way around it. The power that Long Chen had revealed in his battle against Han Zhenayu had completely won them over. They felt like following such a wild and domineering person would be an honor, even if they died they wouldn't have lived for nothing. This was the charisma of experts. In the cultivation world, power was everything, and it was irresistible to men and women. Furthermore, Long Chen didn't have the slightest arrogance of an expert. He was like an ordinary person. Only when he exploded would he show his domineering side. Just the sight of that was enough to make people's blood boil. Seeing that Long Chen didn't refuse them, and instead used such a joking method to express his attitude toward them, they were both surprised and grateful. They all charged over. Hey, don't push. Are you trying to take advantage? Let me warn you. Be careful of being beaten. Shouted Guo Ran. He wanted to maintain order. Because there were now too many people and some of them were so passionate and excited. He was worried for the Heaven Female Alliance's beauties. Even he hadn't had a chance to take advantage. So how could he give the opportunity to them? Seeing Long Chen accept them all without the slightest animosity. More and more disciples rushed over to the Dragonblood Legion. Oh, great Commander Long, this big sister will have to listen to your commands in the future. Don't abuse your position, teased Mu Kingsuin as she came over with Sumo and the senior generation's disciples at their side. A somewhat helpless expression appeared on Sumo's face, but he didn't say anything. Long Chen laughed, if I abused my position against you, then senior apprentice brother Sumo would definitely kill me. I still want to live a few more years. So spare me. Although Long Chen was still young, he possessed the nine star hegemon body art, and he was extremely sensitive to changes in other people's emotions. He could see that in truth, 
Sumo had always had Mu King Suan in his heart. However, he was a bit too wooden and inarticulate, and didn't know how to express his feelings. Him, Mu King Suan looked at Sumo with surprise. Sumo's expression immediately became unnatural and he looked away. Mu King Suan seemed to understand something, and she smiled slightly. She didn't say any more. More and more disciples came. When the 15 minutes were up, 80% of the new disciples had come to Long Chen's side, while over half the senior generation's disciples had also joined him. They had come because of Long Chen's terrifying potential. That made Gao Zian Yang and Hu Gishan's expressions extremely unsightly, and Luo Fan's expression was even uglier. Years of his work had been wasted like this. All the disciples still ended up under Long Chen's control, which was equivalent to them being snatched away by the Elder Hall. They had snatched them up so easily, as if all this was within his expectations. Liu Kang announced, Go and rest for a night. You'll move out tomorrow morning. As Liu Kang left, Luo Fan looked at his back, with bitter resentment in his eyes. He also left. Chapter 1137 Fortune Telling Translator Born to be the next day, one large and one small flying boat moved out of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, going directly to the Eastern Sea. Long Chen stood alone at the prow of the boat. The barrier had already been activated. Seeing the mountains rapidly going past him down below, he had a strange feeling. Yesterday, he had been called over by the Zuan master to discuss a few things. Only after the two of them had chatted did Long Chen realize he had misjudged the Zuan master. In Long Chen's heart, the Zuan master had been a completely unrevealed hero, someone who was upright and virtuous. He hadn't expected that he was wrong. When they had talked about the huge gamble he had made against the heaven suppressing magic sect, Long Chen had asked the Zuan Master whether or not he had been worried about losing. The Zuan Master's reply was that he hadn't been the slightest bit worried. Even if he had lost, it would have been fine. A problem had occurred in the spirit stone mine he had gambled. They had suddenly found an extremely thick rock stratum. That layer was hundreds of miles thick, and it covered far too much land. It was impossible to avoid. If they wanted to continue mining, they would have to break through it. But breaking through such a thick layer of rock stratum would require a huge amount of manpower. Most importantly, no one knew whether or not there were more spirit stones down below. Even if there were, if there weren't enough, it wouldn't make up for the loss of breaking through the rock stratum. Right now, the spirit stone mine had already ceased production. All the workers were studying the probability of there being more spirit stones below and in what quantities. The results of their study were not encouraging. The chance there were still spirit stones below was only 50%, and if there were, then based on the current state of the mine, the amount below wouldn't be very great, it was likely it wouldn't make up for the cost of breaking through the rock. So this huge spirit stone mine had become an annoying point for the Zhuanshan Dao sect just whether or not they should continue excavating was a problem, and so the Zuan master hadn't even frowned upon taking it out to bet, he had already abandoned this mine, because he had no money to risk on it. As for the life star bead, that made Long Chen even more flabbergasted. The Zuan master said that his life star bead was garbage. When life star experts broke through to their realm, they left behind their lifetime comprehension of cultivation. It was an extremely precious cultivation inheritance. But when the Zuan master had advanced to the life star realm, his lightning tribulation had been too powerful, and his life star bead had lost the majority of its spirituality to the tribulation. The inheritance the Zuan master had left behind was incomplete. It was basically trash. When Long Chen heard this, he couldn't help being completely dumbstruck. That was far too evil. He had actually taken out two pieces of garbage to gamble with another person's businesses. If Ma Zingkong learned of this, wouldn't he directly die of anger? However, the Zuan master told Long Chen that the process wasn't important. The only important thing was the result. He couldn't limit himself. In the cultivation world, all rules were nothing more than the playing of rogues. The winner was the more shameless one. If you wholeheartedly wanted to act as a man of honor to the end, your end would truly come quickly, and miserably to boot. The previous Zuan master had conformed with the rules very well. He was upright, acting openly and candidly. But what had that resulted in? The current plight of the Zuanshan Dao sect he had been considering things from his own standpoint, instead of thinking of the Dao sect's millions of disciples. This was a mediocre way of leading. When the Zuan master said this, he intentionally looked at Long Chen profoundly. His meaning was clear. To survive in the cultivation world, he had to be willing to use any means necessary. He shouldn't blindly try to be a hero and thus have his hands tied. That would cause many more people to die. It seems I really am too immature. 
Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. As expected, the Zuan Master's wisdom was not something a little rookie like him could compare to. The Zuan Master had his own special kind of charisma. It was as though no matter what happened, everything would be within his control. With his strategies, he was able to win victories from thousands of miles away. It was like with him present, there would be no problems. As for Long Chen, what he lacked was control, but he had no way around it. He was well aware of his own weaknesses. The Zuan Master himself had even said that Long Chen was no less intelligent than him. It was just that once his anger flared, all that intelligence would vanish. Whatever. Everyone has their own paths, and I can just walk my own path. Some things can't be obtained just through wanting them. Long Chen sighed deeply and stretched. Long Chen, why have you run over here? We were looking all over. He turned back to see Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Hua Xiaoyu, and Zhao Ziyan come over. Oh, are these the legendary four great beauties of the Zhuanchen Dao sect? I am honored that you would be looking for me, laughed Long Chen. Tang Wan'er rolled her eyes and said, have some propriety. You are now a commander, so have some respect. You're right. For you to honor my humble self with your presence, I should have come to get you. I can't believe I was lacking such manners. Please, come sit, and let me pour you some tea. Long Chen hastily put on a respectful appearance. When I said to have some respect, I didn't mean this kind of nonsense. Tang Wan'er laughingly pushed Long Chen, bringing him inside where they could all sit around a stone table. Long Chen, I hear you know how to read fortunes. Can you read mine? Said Hua Shiyu out of nowhere. Long Chen waved his hand. What fortune telling? That's all just nonsense used to trick fools. As soon as he said this, he realized Xiao Ziyan was staring closely at him. He immediately realized he had been conned. Ha ha ha. Do you see, Sister Ziyan? I told you he was just a swindler. He couldn't possibly have any heaven peering abilities. But you refused to believe it. Laughed Hua Shiyu. Xiao Ziyan's expression was a bit unnatural now. Long Chen swore inside. But did they think they could truly beat him like this? When it came to conning people, he had never encountered anyone greater than himself. Fate contains the mysteries of the innate world and the consequences of the will. With the two of them merged, with the five spirits of heaven, earth, man, god, and ghost as the foundation, with the five elements of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth as the transformation. There are innumerable possibilities. Even immortals and gods have no way to grasp the form of fate. This is an explanation I found in an ancient ruin within the immemorial path pertaining to reading the future. The future is constantly changing, and it involves all things within heaven and earth. The fundamental movement of the cosmos can change things. Even gods and immortals are helpless when it comes to this. So how could I, an ordinary mortal, possibly see the future? Long Chen shook his head while sighing. The four women stared blankly at him. Even Hua Shiyu stopped laughing. His words were too profound for them to understand. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, these principles of yours are amazing, but they're hard to understand. Can you explain it to us in more detail? Asked Hua Shiyu respectfully, putting away her mocking smile. Long Chen laughed inside. Even he didn't know what he was saying, but it seemed it had worked. He shook his head. The so-called laws and fortunes of heaven and earth are split into yin and yang. On their own, Yin cannot live, and Yang cannot grow. The reason you are confused is because you only see one side of things, while you are blind to the other side. That's why the things you see are always the things you want to see, but are not necessarily the true essence of things. As for the heaven-peering art you speak of, it is nothing more than some people peeking at the slightest thread of the will of the heavenly deos. All they do is generalize from that tiny little bit. Calculating the future is the opposite of looking into the past. Looking into the past is easier, because you use the consequences to calculate the reasons. Of course, such a thing is useless, but when it comes to predicting the future, even just making a prediction will cause a slight change. By using the present to calculate the future, you have created a new future, one that will be different from the old future. That's why I said that fortune tellers are all swindlers. No one can accurately tell a person's future. That's also why people often say man proposes but God disposes. When it comes to fortune telling, nothing anyone says is reliable, but when it comes to reading faces, I'm actually quite skilled. So rather than telling you your fortune, why don't I read your face? Fairy Shiyu, do you want to try? Long Chen spouted nonsense with complete seriousness. The four women felt like they half understood and half didn't. Even those familiar with Long Chen like Menki and Tang Wan'er were fooled, because Long Chen's words truly sounded reasonable. 
listening closely, they seemed to contain boundless profundities. How do you read my face? Hua Shiaya was moved. She wanted to increase her knowledge of this face reading, because what Long Chen had said before was very profound. My face reading is actually a special, all-encompassing version. Not only do I read the face, but I also read the palms and the bones. In accordance with the saying that the appearance is born from the heart, the face is the most important part. Even people without face reading abilities can guess a person's general character and morality by looking at their face. However, there are countless transformations and changes that are not innate, and so reading just the face is destined to just be a basic examination. It cannot be fully trusted, but the palms are shaped at birth, and the palm lines are essentially set. They do not change in life, but the faint changes in their color and the slight trends within it can allow one to see the possibilities for the future. So let's first do a palm reading, said Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen extend his hand, Hua Shiyu unconsciously placed her hand in his. Her hand was soft and satiny, making it feel excellent. Long Chen's expression was calm, but he involuntarily felt a wave of emotion. It seemed fortune tellers were truly blessed with luck with women. Hua Shiyu acted calm with Long Chen holding her hand, but she began to blush. As far as she recalled, ever since she had stopped being a child, she had never held hands with a man. Furthermore, she felt a strange feeling from Long Chen's hand that made her heartbeat quicken. She was like a deer noticed in the wild, but she also couldn't express that. She forcibly acted like she didn't mind. Long Chen, are you going to look? What are you doing? Just touching. You scoundrel. You wouldn't be taking advantage of Sister Shiyu, right? Tang Wan'er started to get suspicious upon seeing Long Chen simply sitting there, feeling Hua Shiyu's hand. What do you know? When palm reading, the first thing to do is to warm the hand and increase the blood flow by 10%. That's to make the palm lines clearer so they're easier to read. Long Chen gave an unashamed explanation as he felt just one hand wasn't enough. He also pulled in Hua Shiyu's other hand. Hua Shiyu turned even redder, but she refused to express her nervousness. She still pretended she didn't care. Long Chen chortled to himself. She had put him on the spot just before. And after spending so much saliva spouting such nonsense, it was time to get a return. Um, is that enough? It's been two hours. If you keep going, my hands are going to get swollen. Hua Shiyu finally couldn't endure it any longer. Oh, I suppose this is good enough. Long Chen immediately became embarrassed. The feeling was just too good, and he had gotten addicted to the soft and supple feeling. Tell me, said Hua Shiyu. She wanted to see what kind of evaluation he had. All right. This hand is not bad. As soon as Long Chen's words rang out, he felt a bad change in the air. Chapter 1138 Reading Bones Translator Born to be when I say fairy Shiyu's palm lines are not bad. I mean the lines are clear and her hands are healthy. But when it comes to her fate, things don't look so good. There are three clear intersections of her palm lines. And the final one is the clearest. This means that fairy Shiyu will run into at least three difficulties in life and the third one will be the most difficult. Long Chen spoke frankly with absolute assurance as he held Hua Shiyu's hands. An expression of disbelief appeared on Hua Shiyu's face. She stared at Long Chen with shock. Her voice trembled as she asked, How did you know I ran into three bumps in my life? Long Chen was also startled. He hadn't thought it would be this easy. In truth, he had just acted in accordance with how fortune tellers con people. First, he spouted a vague generalization and then he gave out a number that was neither high nor low. This was the easiest way to convince others. No matter how peaceful a person's life was, it wasn't as if everything could be smooth sailing. They would always run into a few setbacks or encounter things that displeased them, which then stayed in their mind. As for the number three, it was the number with the highest probability of being right. So fortune tellers would often use this number as a foundation to con people. Furthermore, Long Chen hadn't said anything definite. He had said that she would run into at least three. That was a very shameless way of guessing. If she had run into ten setbacks, he would be right. If she had run into a hundred setbacks, he would also be right. Even if she had experienced a thousand setbacks, that was still greater than three. Originally, Long Chen had been planning to say some more hints and suggestions based on her reaction. But this random number of his ended up striking right on the mark. Even he found it a bit inconceivable. I truly did run into three rather large setbacks. Once when I was young and exchanging pointers, an accident occurred, and my key began to flow in reverse. I was almost crippled. Once when I was twenty and my father sent me into the mountains for training, 
I encountered a sneak attack from my enemies and almost lost my life. And my miserable death at Churingla's time just happens to be the third time. Long Chen, do you really have fortune telling abilities? Hua Shia was filled with shock. If I didn't, do you think I would babble so much? Boasted Long Chen absolutely shamelessly. Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, and Xiao Ziyan were also looking at him with shock. At first, Men Qi and Tang Wan'er had been suspicious of his actions, thinking he was up to mischief. They had let him go on because this was a victimless prank, and even the jealous Tang Wan'er was able to just barely accept this. But who would have thought? The more Long Chen spoke, the more they believed him. It seemed Long Chen really had this ability. A trace of worship appeared in Tang Wan'er's eyes. So in truth, Long Chen was a true man with real abilities. He was different from Guo Ran who showed off everything he could. Long Chen hid his abilities well. Right now, in Tang Wan'er's eyes, Long Chen was a low-key powerful man with great internal quality. However, if she knew his goal was to purely take advantage of a beauty, wouldn't she throttle him to death? Feeling the hand of another peerless beauty in front of his own beauties was a feeling others couldn't experience. Seeing the four of them staring at him so admiringly, Long Chen was even starting to admire himself. Long Chen, can you calculate my future? Asked Hua Shiyu expectantly. In truth, this was a common aspect of women. Perhaps this was the result of men feeling combative and wanting to go against what fate had planned for them, while women wished to know their future to know what would happen. In the secular world, fortune tellers all preferred targeting women. Of course, another reason was because even if they couldn't dupe them, at least they wouldn't be beaten black and blue. Long Chen had an urge to laugh, but now he no longer dared to admit he was blindly spouting nonsense. Otherwise, Hua Shia would immediately turn hostile. If you ride a tiger, it's hard to get off. He couldn't retreat at this time, or he'd be exposed. Palm reading is for calculating the past. If you want to predict the future, palm reading won't be so accurate. We'll need to do a bone reading. But a bone reading isn't based on looking, but on feeling. In other words, it's the legendary bone feeling fortune telling. But for you, it's not too suitable. Long Chen shook his head. The four of them had also heard of this kind of fortune telling, but they had never seen it. They didn't know much about it. Hua Shiyu turned red, but she seemed to greatly wish for it. Where, where do you have to touch? Asked Hua Shiyu, her voice no louder than a mosquito. Cough. In truth, feeling the arms is enough. The two leg bones focus on the innate while the two arms focus on the future. However, this is my first time trying this kind of fortune telling. If I end up doing it wrong or touching the wrong place by accident, it might hurt our relationship. So, it really isn't very suitable. We should leave it at this. Long Chen was starting to beat the drum for a retreat. He was even starting to regret what he had said. He was about to be exposed. And if he was, he'd have no face for the rest of his life. Sisters, can you leave for now? I want Long Chen's help in reading my future. I want to see if I can live past 23. Hua Shiyu's voice contained an imploring tone. The others jumped, not knowing what she was saying. When I was a child, my father invited an expert from Heavenly Fate Island to tell my fate. I inadvertently heard that expert say that I would have three setbacks in my life. And after those three setbacks, the end of my life would draw near. My predestined lifespan would not surpass 23, said Hua Shiyu sadly. Long Chen and the others looked at each other with shock. So Hua Shiyu had actually had such a curious experience. It was no wonder she would suddenly believe Long Chen when he mentioned she would have three setbacks in her life. Long Chen shook his head. Didn't I just tell you that fortune telling is nonsense? Even if he was some expert from some heavenly fate island, at most he is able to see through a few small things. But the future is always indistinct and in flux. Who would possibly be able to see it clearly? Even if it was fated that you would only live to 23, just by telling you this, he added a new layer of karma. You know what this karma is. From the day you heard you would only live to 23, your fate change. Who would believe such nonsense? Long Chen naturally scoffed at such things. Anyone with real skill wouldn't randomly say something like that as it would fundamentally cause karma. By reading a person's fortune for them, they had changed their fate. Wasn't that precisely going against the fate the heavens had prescribed for them? How was that any different from asking the heavens to smite them? Long Chen, I'm begging you. I just want to know this. I can be at peace if you can help me. Begged Hua Shiyu. Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, and Xiao Ziyan all looked at the always unyielding Hua Shiyu. Seeing her begging like this, they didn't know what emotion they were supposed to feel. No one wasn't afraid of death. Everyone had their own dreams. 
Everyone had their brothers, sisters, and parents. Long Chen, you can't care so much about those things now. We're all cultivators, and we don't have the same misjivings as the people of the secular world. Please help Sister Shiayu read her bones. Tang Wan'er pushed Long Chen toward Hua Shiayu. At the same time, two of her fingers lightly pressed against his back. Long Chen knew that she was warning him not to mess around. No matter what he read, he couldn't tell that cruel truth. He swore inside. She truly overestimated him. He was purely messing around. But now, just what was he supposed to do? Who would have thought things would progress to this point? If he once more did what he did before, then that would be inhumane. And yet, not touching her was not an option either. Long Chen had an urge to slap himself in the face. If he touched, he was a beast. If he didn't, he was worse than a beast. Just what had he done to himself? Hua Shiayu actually began to take off her outer clothes. Her snow-white skin revealed itself to him. She was irresistibly beautiful. But Long Chen didn't know where he was supposed to put his hands. Was he supposed to hold her arms from below or from above? His head buzzed and his sweat dripped down from it. He hadn't been nervous when fighting against Tan's Henayu, but now his body was rigid. Hurry up. Tang Wan'er saw that Long Chen simply had his hands extended, but didn't dare to actually place his palms on Hua Shiayu's arms. So she urged him on. She thought he was just embarrassed. But now wasn't the time for him to be embarrassed. Hua Shiayu clearly had a great deal of faith in what that heavenly fate island expert had said. She was filled with anticipation and was restless. She clearly didn't want to die yet. Now was not the time to care about trivialities. Long Chen clenched his teeth and placed his hands on Hua Shiayu's arms. He had decided that he had to continue acting. In any case, all he had to say was that the expert had been full of crap. But Long Chen didn't want to continue, because this wasn't just taking a little advantage. If he still had such thoughts at such a time, he would look down upon himself. In order to make his act more believable, he began to secretly circulate the nine-star hegemon body art. He closed his eyes, and a soft light appeared on his palms. That was Long Chen's spiritual yuan. He used his spiritual yuan to feel Hua Shiayu's bones. This way, it wouldn't go too far. As Long Chen's hands went over Hua Shiayu's arms, she trembled. A strange feeling came from those large hands that made her red and breathe faster. But when Long Chen's hands reached Hua Shiayu's shoulders, he suddenly frowned. His hand slowly moved toward Hua Shiayu's chest. A-H-H. Hua Shiayu suddenly let out a startled cry. Not only her, but Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, and Xiao Ziyan also cried out. When Long Chen's hands pressed against Hua Shiayu's ample chest, Black Qi began to pour out of her chest, forming a black figure in the air in front of her. A pained expression appeared on Hua Shiayu's face. It was like her heart had been pulled out, and she was as pale as paper. Sorcery. Long Chen opened his eyes. A bright light shone in them. Chapter 1139 Heavenly Fate Sorcery Translator Born to be with Long Chen's hand on Hua Shiayu's chest, Black Key poured out and tightly bound his hand. The Black Key formed strands, looking like sinister centipedes that had come out to attack him. Through circulating the nine-star hegemon body art, he had sensed some strange fluctuations above Hua Shiayu's spirit root. At that time, the nine-star hegemon body art had acted on its own. And when his hand unconsciously touched Hua Shiayu's chest, it began to circulate even faster, pulling out this strange black key. Long Chen, what's going on? Men Qi and the others jumped in shock. These black strands formed a demonic and fiendish figure. This figure seemed to have come from within Hua Shiayu, while the nine-star hegemon body art had forcibly pulled it out. However, Hua Shiayu felt like her organs were being ripped out of her. Long Chen was also shocked. Just what was this? A curse? Why would it be sensed by the nine-star hegemon body art? Furthermore, it felt like the nine-star hegemon body art detested this thing and wanted to destroy it. Long Chen, stop. Sister Shiayu can't hold on, shouted Xiao Ziyan. Hua Shiayu's aura was rapidly falling. Long Chen hastily stopped the nine-star hegemon body art. That black figure instantly returned to Hua Shiayu's chest and vanished without a trace. It couldn't even be sensed. But now Hua Shiayu was pale and limp. The five of them were all silent for a moment, filled with shock. Just what was that strange figure? Long Chen, what was that? Asked Men Qi. Hua Shiayu also looked at Long Chen, but she was now extremely weak. She looked like she was heavily injured and didn't even have the energy to speak. That black figure had heavenly Dao energy on it, but it was different from the true heavenly Daos. It's strange. Long Chen's expression was also grave. His head rapidly worked. 
According to his understanding of the nine-star hegemon body art, it was very sensitive to heavenly Deo energy. It might even be more accurate to say it detested it. In that same vein of thinking, he suspected that the reason the heavenly Deos constantly went against him was because of the nine-star hegemon body art, but he still understood too little of the true heavenly Deos. As for that figure in Hua Shiyu's body, its aura was much weaker than the true heavenly Deos. It was like, it was artificial. Artificial? Long Chen suddenly thought of a possibility. Shiyu, how did you become acquainted with that expert from Heavenly Fate Island? What's the whole story? Hua Shiyu had recovered slightly, but she still wasn't fully healed. Her voice was raspy as she said, It happened when I was still very little. An expert who said he came from Heavenly Fate Island just happened to be passing by my family's land. My family is large and has a great deal of influence in its region. But we had never heard of any experts from Heavenly Fate Island who go out into the mundane world. Rumor is that Heavenly Fate Island is extremely mysterious, and it rarely interacts with the mundane world. When that expert came, my father was suspicious and thought he was a swindler. But that expert managed to list out many secrets of my Hua family as soon as he arrived. Some of those secrets were things even my father didn't know about. When the patriarch learned of it, he was absolutely shocked. The expert said I was a spirit child that had reincarnated. I would have three setbacks that would draw a calamity upon myself, and it's fated that I won't live past 23. At that time, my Hua family was shocked. The expert later spoke to my father alone, saying that if he wanted me to live, it would require forcibly changing fate. It would require tricking the very heavenly deos. However, however what? Asked Long Chen. However, he said that forcibly changing my fate would make him bear a large amount of karma, and he was unwilling to do it for free. So he wanted my family's ancestral treasure, the Deo Seeking King Jade. That is a remnant of our ancestors and the foundation of my Hua family's inheritance. My father naturally refused. The expert merely smiled coldly and left, saying that if my father ever regretted his decision, he could go to the Heavenly Fate Pavilion in the Grand Han Ancient Nation to find him. Then, my first setback occurred. My family became uneasy, as I was my family's hope of rising in my generation. As for the patriarch, even he was tempted and had an urge to give away the ancestral treasure. But my father was extremely against this, saying that the expert sneer had clearly been one of a petty person who was enraged at being refused. He didn't have the slightest air of an expert, so he was clearly just a swindler. But when my second setback occurred, my father also became afraid. He hesitated for a long time, and in the end, he called me in front of him and said I could decide. I, I was afraid, but I knew that without the Deo seeking King Jade, my Hua family would lose its foundation and might quickly decline. So I chose not to believe that person's fortune telling. That's why I go all out cultivating, so that no one can look down on me. I wanted to show everyone that I'm fine, and my parents don't need to worry about. Hua Shiai lowered her head. Menki and the others were all surprised as they hadn't expected Hua Shiyu to have such a backstory. Their hearts all felt heavy. Xiao Ziyan patted Hua Shiyu on the back, but she didn't know what to say to comfort her. Long Chen was silent for a while and then asked, What's the effect of your family's Dao seeking King Jade? It's an ancient jade with Dao charm flowing around it. Even without doing anything, it allows a person to grow closer to the heavenly Daos. It lets a person's heart be calm. It is extremely helpful to people below the Xi'anchen realm. Is it only useful to those below the Xi'anchen realm? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Above the Xi'anchen realm, it is essentially useless. So although it's a good treasure, it doesn't cause any powerful sects to get greedy. Explained Hua Shiyu. Then based on what you said, I would guess that this so-called expert from Heavenly Fate Island did something to you. Above your spirit root, there's a strange clump of energy hiding. When I... Read your bones. It was provoked. This clump of energy contains heavenly Deo energy, but it's different from the heavenly Deo energy celestials use when fighting. It's like karmic energy and very strange. Furthermore, this energy has merged with your spirit blood and even your soul. If it's forcibly removed, you will definitely die. Hey, what are you saying? Long Chen, can't you put it more gently? Rebuked Tang Wanner angrily. Long Chen immediately became embarrassed, because he had truly misspoken. He hastily said, but you don't need to worry. When we return to the sect, we can ask the Zuan master to help and it'll be no problem. But Hua Shiyu wasn't the slightest bit excited. Instead, she dimly shook her head. The Zuan master won't help. Why not? Because Heavenly Fate Island is more terrifying than you imagine. 
there is not a single sect that wishes to offend them. They control fate, and so for them to destroy a sect is extremely easy. Most terrifying of all, their actions are all well hidden. You might not even know how the sect declined. Sighed Hua Shiyu. It can't possibly be that exaggerated. Right. Wasn't this too ridiculous? Then who would dare to provoke them? In truth, it really is like this. No one is willing to offend them. All the large sects want to curry favor with the Heavenly Fate Island. Afraid of something being done to them secretly. That's the terror of Heavenly Fate Island. Said Hua Shiyu. If this was true, then they really were bad us. But for them to get jealous of other people's treasures, they were a huge pain in the ass. Hua Shiyu's family's ancestral treasure was clearly not very useful to others. However, it seemed that this expert had a use for it. Long Chen was 90% sure that this expert had done something to Hua Shiyu in order to force the Hua family to hand over their treasure. He had seen despicable people, but he had never seen someone this despicable. Even the swindlers in the secular world only conned people of their money, not their entire family fortune and their lives. In truth, it's not that complicated. As long as you tell the Zuan master, he can use the reincarnation mirror to easily erase that strange energy. Previously, you couldn't be sure that the Zuan master would help you, but don't misjudge him. Although he looks like a lazy person leisurely passing his days, he's a very courageous man. If you ask him, he will definitely help. Guaranteed Long Chen. Don't randomly spout such nonsense. How could the Zuan master be described as lazy and leisurely? Are you not afraid of the Zuan master expelling you? Scolded Menki with a smile. The tense atmosphere lightened a great deal. Hua Shiyu said. However, it will still bring trouble to the Zuanshan Dao sect if the Zuanshan Dao sect declines because of me. I'd rather die. It's not so serious. How old are you right now? Asked Long Chen. He wanted to know how much time she had left. Long Chen was confident that the expert from Heavenly Fate Island had used Heavenly Dao energy to leave behind a seed within Hua Shiyu. Or perhaps it should be called a curse. Arts that involved fate were mysterious and profound. They could not be described with words, nor could they be underestimated. For Heavenly Fate Island to possess such a reputation was definitely not a coincidence. Long Chen didn't dare to be careless. I turned 22 last month, said Hua Shiyu. In other words, there was less than a year until her time was up. Oh, you're even a bit bigger than Long Chen. Tang Wan'er was a bit surprised. She had always thought that Hua Shiyu was younger than Long Chen. Looking at Hua Shiyu's chest, Long Chen thought to himself that she wasn't just a bit bigger. He sighed regretfully. Just now, he had been completely focused on that clump of energy and hadn't gotten a good feel. What a waste. Just as Long Chen's thoughts took a turn from proper things, Men Qi's hand stealthily reached toward Long Chen's waist and gave him a vicious pinch. Although she wasn't able to cause him pain with this, Long Chen knew his spiritual fluctuations had been sensed. Shiyu, don't worry. If you're worried about implicating the Dao sect, then I'll help you handle it. I can use a medicinal pill to help you extract that energy. But the process will probably be a bit painful, said Long Chen. Chapter 1140 Just a bit bigger translator. Born to be Hua Shiyu felt much better after hearing Long Chen's promise. After he had ended up provoking that foreign energy within her, she trusted his abilities and what he had said. Now she hated that despicable person from Heavenly Fate Island. He had actually done such a thing to her when she had been a child. He was worse than an animal. But as for right now, she was in too weak of a state to attempt extracting that mysterious energy. Her soul and spiritual yuan had been shaken just now. She needed to rest. Fortunately, there was still enough time. So they could wait a few days. Menki and Xiao Ziyan helped Hua Shiyu leave. Now there was only Long Chen and Tang Wan'er. Tang Wan'er suddenly smiled mischievously. Long Chen, what do you think? Are they big? Long Chen immediately turned solemn and serious. Don't mess around. At that time, I was focused completely on saving her. How could I have such thoughts? Long Chen naturally wouldn't admit such a thing. But Tang Wan'er still didn't give up. Holding his arm, she said, I'm not jealous. I just want to know, is she bigger or am I bigger? She seems to be a little bit bigger Aya. You liar. Long Chen had only just answered when a burst of pain came from his waist. It was a sneak attack from Tang Wan'er. You, you're the one who asked me to answer, and you said you weren't jealous. HMPH. So what? Who said you could say she was bigger than me? Sniffed Tang Wan'er angrily. Long Chen realized he had jumped past one trap only to land in another. She wasn't jealous. No, she was simply angry. But then thinking about it, he really had been stupid. 
Could you really trust a woman? He should have instead continued acting like a gentleman. Seeing Tang Wan'er's angry appearance, Long Chen suddenly chortled and wrapped a hand around her waist. Don't touch me. I'm angry. Tang Wan'er pushed his hand away, but Long Chen forcibly pulled her in and smiled mysteriously. Don't be angry. I was just telling the truth. Her chest really is just the slightest bit bigger than yours. You're saying it again. Tang Wan'er kicked Long Chen furiously, but being held by him, she wasn't able to reach him. However, yours has greater potential than hers, said Long Chen. He understood Tang Wan'er the best. Sometimes, she would refuse to admit to featuring like a child. She was always competitive, and she even wanted to compete in such a thing. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. But who asked him to be so stupid as to actually reply with the truth? He had to think of a way to make her happy again. What potential? Who would believe your nonsense? Tang Wan'er sniffed. I'm telling the truth. Her size has already been set in stone. Whereas you still have plenty of room to grow. First of all, let me ask. Are you bigger? Or is Menki bigger? Asked Long Chen. Of course big sister Menki is bigger. I call her big sister. Tang Wan'er's reply almost made Long Chen choke. Men decided seniority based on power. Could it be women based seniority on this? His eyes had been opened to the world today. Foolish girl. You're the one I've been with the longest. When I have something good, I naturally think of you first. And I have a method to allow your size to quickly catch up to the others. Long Chen held Tang Wan'er's hand sincerely. It was true that amongst all of Long Chen's lovers, he had been with Tang Wan'er the most. When Tang Wan'er heard that, she was moved and stopped struggling. In truth. Although Tang Wan'er had accepted that Long Chen had multiple lovers, she still wished that she would be the most pampered one, saying he had been with her the most and that he would think of her first. Long Chen immediately touched upon the softest part of her heart. She immediately stopped arguing. Long Chen couldn't help but smile. In truth, her body was practically perfect. Although her chest was not as large as Hua Xiaoyu's, the truth was that if you were to take a quick look and compare them, they would look about the same. But because of Long Chen's slip of the tongue, she had started to feel a bit inferior, and so she had gotten angry with Long Chen. Wan'er, you're the one with the greatest potential. In the future, I'll help you with the massage technique. As long as the two of us work together, I'm sure that with your talent and aptitude, plus this hard work, you'll quickly surpass them. Really Tang Wan'er looked down, clearly a bit enticed. Of course, when have I ever tricked you? At night, or when you have nothing else to do. Take advantage of when Menki isn't around to come to my room. I'll help you massage them, and they'll definitely grow, said Long Chen. He involuntarily gulped. A slip of the tongue had been recovered to this point. How marvelous was his scheming. Long Chen was admiring himself more and more. He had touched Menki's before, but not Tang Wan'er's. He was only able to stealthily make some calculations. Because she was too fiery and normally she was with Menki, if he did have a touch, once she let out a cry, it would be awkward. Thinking of how he could justify doing such a thing, Long Chen looked toward Tang Wan'er's chest. He had an urge to start helping right now. Why does it have to be when Sister Men Ki isn't around? Aya, foolish girl. What if she sees and wants me to massage hers as well? Then you'll never surpass Ah, uh, Men Ki, you're back. Men Ki looked at Long Chen with a smile that was not a smile. Standing there with her sweet smile, she didn't say a word. He, Men Ki, you're really beautiful. Yes, you're getting more and more beautiful. Long Chen hastily let go of Tang Wan'er and went up to hug Men Ki. But Men Ki stepped to the side, dodging. Does a certain someone think that saying a few nice words will make up for his evil intentions? Men Ki was still smiling, but this smile made Long Chen's hair stand on end. Sister, we're not doing anything bad. You've misunderstood, said Tang Wan'er. Foolish girl, you really are easy to trick. He's trying to seduce you into doing the wrong thing. If you do that, how will you face Hikyu and Chu Yao? Scolded Men Ki. But, Long Chen said it's just touching. I just want to get bigger. I want to be as ample as you. Tang Wan'er looked at Men Ki's chest with envy. Yes, exactly. My goal is completely pure. Long Chen raised his hands innocently. He truly loved Tang Wan'er to death now. He swore he wouldn't fail to live up to her trust, and that he would make her the amplest woman in the world. It's not that simple. That place can't be touched by anyone. Men Ki couldn't help but turn red upon seeing Tang Wan'er just foolishly staring at her. It's not anyone. It's Long Chen. Tang Wan'er still didn't understand. Aya, I'll explain to you later. Long Chen, I'm warning you. 
don't even think of continuing with this. We've already made our agreement. If she ends up doing that with you, even if no one else says anything, she'll be ashamed. Then, you'll have harmed her, warned Men Ki. I wouldn't do that, swore Long Chen. Who could be sure about this kind of thing? If Wan Er couldn't hold back and begged you, what would happen? I, Long Chen was immediately struck dumb. If Tang Wan Er really took the initiative to seduce him, it would be dangerous. Big sister, I feel like I'd be able to control myself, said Tang Wan Er bravely. You foolish girl, what he was telling you. I know how to do it. I'll help you when we get back. Men Ki pulled Tang Wan Er away. Hey, Men Ki, how about I help? I can supervise you and make sure you do it right. You should know, your technique definitely isn't as good as mine, and you won't be able to massage them well enough. As a professional cough, cough, a glare from Men Ki made Long Chen swallow his words. He had almost made another slip of the tongue. Seeing that Men Ki and Tang Wan Er had slipped away, Long Chen helplessly sighed. He couldn't even get a touch. Ah, there's simply no way around it. Men Ki will definitely make defenses against anything I try. I should focus on cultivating. It's time to cultivate the fourth style of split the heavens. In his battle against Hans Henayu, the reason he had been able to defeat Chiring him in the end was not just because Bloodrinker had advanced to the king item level. Another main reason was because of the third form of split the heavens. Bloodrinker had only just advanced and still wasn't able to unleash the full power of a king item. Right now, it was in seclusion in the primal chaos space. Buzz. A new rune appeared in one of Long Chen's acupuncture points. It was the first divine rune of the fourth form of Split the Heavens. It's this easy. Long Chen was surprised. Now that each of his 108,000 acupuncture points had an immortal platform within, he could condense this rune almost instantaneously. Previously, he had been forced to first enlarge his acupuncture point and nourish it with his spiritual yuan for a long time before a divine rune would fully condense. It would take several days. Furthermore, Feng Zingli had solemnly warned him to be careful with the fourth form of Split the Heavens. Its divine runes were extremely berserk and could break his acupuncture points. But under the suppression of his immortal platform, the divine rune was like an obedient little rabbit. There wasn't any sign of it going berserk. In less than a day, he had condensed all nine embryonic forms of the fourth form's divine runes. Now when he used the fourth form of Split the Heavens, it would be easier and there was less chance of a backlash. However, these divine runes were still in their embryonic form, and it would take a long time to slowly nourish them. Only after they matured would he be able to fully unleash the power of the fourth form of Split the Heavens. The flying boats rapidly flew through the air and even went through two supreme transportation formations. Seven days later, the flying boat stopped in front of an ancient city.